It didn't save probably when I shut my computer down. It didn't save. Okay, you can hear me now, right? Now y'all can hear me. All right, yeah, I, um, I went to a new uh, format on my uh, stream. I'm supposed to be with the, uh, the the red, the red, red and blue stuff. Um, so I'm trying to get easy up in here, man. Uh, easy supposed to be coming to to get in this code, so he can see what he's supposed to do. I'm still. Oh, you're here. All right. Awesome, easy. I'm. You DM? Yeah, I'm not getting your messages. Every time I try to message you, man, on a uh, on um Twitch, it tells me. Oh, wait a second. All right, now I can message you. Okay, yeah, before it was saying that it was blocked. All right, so we are live and I still can't. Uh, yeah, yeah, it's all, it's all good, easy. Uh, we are live, I still can't give out the sauce, but what I can do is get you in here in a match and uh, I'm gonna let you uh, lead body, and I'm going to I'm going to defend it. And if your eyes can figure it out, then you'll be a better fighter. If your eyes can't figure it out, I don't know what to do. You're not in my fight camp. You have to join MBK for me to tell you uh, word by word. Um, step by step and uh if you want me to give you like a full-on instructional on how to counter it fight mechanics you got to be an mbk I, I don't give out uh fight mechanics to everybody so here we go there's the code come on in easy and i'll and i'll show you what you're supposed to do Cause I was I was highly upset that uh, he he ran the gauntlet and everybody everybody in the uh, in the tournament just I don't know unaware didn't know what to do man didn't know what to do and it Was he up against uh, Easy Chocolate? No excuse, but on my screen, I was a mile away. Yeah, so you, you yeah, everybody, everybody seen it. Everybody saw it. So we're gonna do this here and uh, we're not gonna do it in the cruiserweight class. Um, uh, to me, all, <laughs> I, I, I looked at the fight card and I was, uh, uh, I, I showed up late. I just, I just got on and I just, uh, cause I didn't realize that my wife wasn't gonna be here. So I got on, got on late. He said, oh, Oh, in fact, actually, you said that I have to beat you first, and then you will listen to the tips. So, so let's so let's go with it. Um, well, I'm definitely not gonna. I, I hate mirror matches, bro. So, do you want to choose a different fighter, or I'll choose a different fighter? Oh, in fact. Like we'll do this in lightweight. We'll do this in lightweight because middle uh welterweight doesn't have enough fighters to choose from. All right, go for Linares. Absolutely. Whose channel? Oh, the anime thing. Yeah. So uh. Do you want me to match your energy as far as a, a 84 fighter or you, 
You want me to cheese you with the with, with the ninety with the ninety one or ninety? I'll I'll give you eighty four fighter. I'm I'm fooling around, bro. I'm fooling around. I'm fooling around. I'm not gonna cheese you like that. Laneras is definitely one of those fighters that's like super tough to deal with. But but I'm gonna give you a legit fight. And if I can't take you, nah, he's got Linares. If I, yeah, if if I can't take you, then I guess you don't need my tips, right? <laughs> I have to fight you to give you my tips. So this is a little bit backwards, but but I'm cool. But I'm cool with it. I'm, <laughs> this is ass backwards, but I'm cool with it. <laughs> this is so funny. <laughs> Affiliate, the the Parsec leader. Yeah, guru. So. So, so as you know, easy, as you can see by the way I'm fighting you, I taught Zips how to fight. I show Zips what he knows. So you're going to get the same shit that Zips was, was giving you, but only, guess what? I do it better. He was in he was in MBK and I showed him how to get it done. And I know that you don't know how to defend it because I just watched you not defend it. So first I'll just beat you with the same strategy that he just used, which is a really, a really lame strategy. But then I'm going to show you how to be a better boxer. I can't tell you. I can only show you. I can't tell you. I can only show you. I want to tell you. I want to tell you, man, because I'm really, I'm really a nice guy. I'm really like, I'll be out here talking a lot of shit. That's just the BZR persona. That's just my fight persona, but I'm actually, I'm really a nice guy, bro. I really don't, I'm really not like this, you know, just out here talking crazy, charging people up and all this stuff. But, you know, when I get in the ring, bro, I'm that dude. In the ring, I'm that dude, and I'm going to be a beast. I'm going to talk shit. I'm going to be loud. That's just what it is in the ring. So you're going to... As of right now, you keep eating the same thing, and you're going to eat the same thing, bro. Yo, what's up, Oreo? What's up, Oreo? In the ring, I'm that dude. So right now, can you fight me? You absolutely can fight me, bro. But you're going to have to wait at least one more round, uh, one more fight because first, I have to earn Easy's respect, and then I'm going to teach Easy something. I could earn it and teach it all in the same fight, but nah. I'm I'm gonna make him get a double dose. I could do it all at the same time, but he's gonna get a double dose. I'm just gonna keep giving him I'm gonna keep giving him the one two because until you can defend the one two, why would I why would I give you anything else? Why that's what Zips did to you. Until you defend it, why would he give you, why would he show you another look? Why would he go to the toolbox and get another tool if the tool that he got is already getting the job done? That doesn't even make any sense. I wouldn't do it. I got more tools than what I'm showing you right now. But I'm not going to give you a new tool until you take this tool away. Until this tool doesn't work. Then I'll give you a new tool. And I do it way better than Zips. 
Zips was just giving you a one. I got a one, two, and then some. And that shit, that shit hurt my soul. It hurt my soul. It really did, bro. It really hurt my soul. I want to see the community get better. I don't know if he was listening to, to J Surge, which he's in my camp. And, and he was saying, you know, like, hey, the fight camps. <laughs> Sorry, BZ. The fight, yeah, the fight camps, bro. I'm saying like, yo, your fight camp gotta be teaching you how to sharpen up. Your fight, your fight camp is supposed to be teaching you fight mechanics. You're not supposed to just be in a camp just to be in it, and they not teaching you how to fight. They supposed to be teaching you how to fight. They're not supposed. You're not supposed to be in there just getting your ass whooped every day, and you don't learn nothing. You're supposed to be learning something. I know you're already cooked, Easy. You're already cooked. You already got no stamina, bro. You're already cooked. You you really want me to pour it on? Here I go. I got my shoes on. That's cold. That's cold. I got my shoes on. I put my J's on. That's cold. They ain't have it? Nope. All right. That's cold. Some people know the code. Now I'm really finna turn it up. You finna get rocks. I already see it coming. You're already hurt and you about to get rocked. Yeah, I always verse the viewers. Always, Dreezy. I verse the viewers every day when I'm not when I'm not doing competition. I verse the viewers every day, bro. All the time. I take codes from anybody. I take codes from anybody. I'm mean, bro. I'm mean. So, uh, like I said, Oreo, you gotta wait, homie. You gotta wait till after. After I get done with this lesson right here. When I get done with this, then you can get up. You can get up. But right now you gotta wait, homie. So right now I'm really, I'm really, really abusing a situation that a lot of fighters don't know what to do. They don't know what to do, and I'm abusing it. I'm abusing it. A lot of fighters out here getting abused like this, and they don't know what to do. I'm not gonna tell you what to do. I just want you to watch. I want you to watch closely. I'm not gonna tell you what to do. Use your eyeballs. Use your eyeballs. So right now there's only like 15 people in here. Oh, <laughs> what? That's not a flash knockout, no way. Okay, yeah, that's a 10 count. That's a 10 count, yo. That happens because Lanierez has the fastest hands in the game. It happens because Lanierez got fast hands. But even though, even then, he's still not going to win, bro. He's still not going to win. That's funny, though. That's hilarious. That's, that's that lightning hands right there. He doesn't, he knocked me down because he got the fast hands, but he literally don't got knockout power because he's, he's out of stamina. He's out of stamina, so he can't... At this point, he really can't hurt me. He hurt me with speed, but he can't hurt me anymore. He's harmless. I'm surprised that he that he even had the speed to get that knockout punch, which is amazing, which is a reason why I think that uh, a fighter like Sergio, Sergio Martin, Martinez is so much cheese, bro, because he got lightning hands. These fighters with lightning hands are hella broken. They're hella broken, bro. But it's all good. 
there's no way he could win the fight even with a lucky knockdown he still he still can't win the fight which is what he wanted he needed a lucky knockdown so bad against zips he needed that thing real bad and he and he couldn't get it because unfortunately the fighter he was using uh didn't have lightning hands he said you telling me zips took the softs and left <laughs> i'm tell you know what i'm actually telling you i'm telling you zips got a little sauce he got a zips got got some drip he got some drip and left he didn't get the sauce he didn't get the beans he got some drip and left bro and you want you know what since 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 he left i'll go ahead you know what i air you out y'all know about me i air out your business since he took a drip and left. I'm gonna air out his business. You know why he left? Because we got we got another camp member that's better than him. They had they had got some more sauce. He got some more sauce and he laid that sauce on. He laid it on so thick that boy got up out of camp immediately. Immediately. That's what happened in a camp spar. He laid the sauce on so goddamn, so goddamn thick, Zips couldn't take it. And he got up out of there. And then, when I tried to reconcile the situation with him, he wouldn't even answer my DMs. And me and Zips supposed to be boys. So, if he in the chat, he know, he know I said it exactly how it went down. That's how, that's how it went down. If you want to holler at his boy, holler at me. I'm still right here. I'm still the same BZR. I'm still right here. Yup, Bear know what it is. He got taunted on once, and he and he tucked his tail and he left. And I don't condone that shit, but he he is his own man. He is his own man. That's literally what happened. And Zips could be a better fighter than what he is if he stayed in camp. If he stayed in camp, Zips wouldn't have got knocked out. Versus who did Zips get knocked out? Versus he he got beat up on Wednesday, I believe it was. In the main event, he wouldn't have got his ass whooped on the main event in Wednesday had he took this lesson I'm about to give easy right now. He wouldn't have lost. Oh yeah, yeah. I'm gonna watch it, Zay. I'm gonna watch that fight. But I pretty you fought Zips, right? So I pretty much already know what happened. He just gave you the lead body uppercut, right? That's what he gave you. Yeah, I'm fighting easy right now. That's easy. I'm fighting him. Yeah, yeah. It, it is an easy game, bro. It is easy. Like when you really get in here and you, uh, it's easy if you know how to play it. If you don't know the fight mechanics, bro, you in trouble if you don't know the fight mechanics. So people in all the familiar faces, yo, what's up, Undisputed? What's up, Undisputed? Yo, let me tell you something, bro. I got, I got, I got a hit list, bro. I got a hit list. I want zips. Any chance I get. Any chance I could get, I want zips. I want all these belts. I want all these belts. Any chance I could get, line me up with zips. I got another hit list. There's a there's a man named there's a man named Moisty. Any chance I get, I want Moisty. I want Moisty. Is there anybody else? TKO Barber. Any chance I get, line me up. Line them up. I want TKO Barber. Who else on the hit list, fans? Who on the hit list? Who on the hit list? I'm shutting them down. Hook City, shutting them down. Show up to WECB and get knocked out like your daddy did. Who on the hit list, y'all? Mm-hmm. <laughs>
Hey, y'all, y'all can catch me tonight. I'll be fighting in the DGL tonight. Uh-oh, I need to check my messages. The DGL might be starting up. I need to check my messages. I might not be able to uh to um uh, fight with y'all, uh the people that want to spar with me. I forgot all about it. I got to fight in the DGL tonight, and then after that, when my wife get home, I'm going to go on a date with my wife. But we're trying to learn this lesson right here real fast. We're going to learn this lesson, and then I'm going to go to the DGL, uh, and I'm going to fight. And then, uh, absolutely, absolutely. It's a real viver. It's a real rivalry. This man, this man zips came to my fight camp, took my sauce, took my drip. And then he going out there, he going out there and winning fights. He going out there and winning fights. With my drip, with my sauce, he going out there winning fights with my sauce, claiming he a champ. He winning fights with my sauce, claiming he a champ. Hey, Chocolate Hands, that's a good question, Chocolate Hands. If you know how, if you know how to play this game, Chocolate Hands, all the fighters are the same. If you know how to counter fight, if you know how to counter moves. All of them are the same. All the counters, all the mechanics, they're all the same. In any in any weight class, they're all the same. But that's a good question, Chocolate Hands. The only thing that changes in this game is uh is if you're fighting a southpaw, which he was fighting a southpaw. So it's a little bit hard to demonstrate some fighting some fighting mechanics against a southpaw. So we're going to do it orthodox versus orthodox. Um, but it's the same thing if you was to have a mirror match or if you was to have a different softball fighter, then you could do the same mechanics uh, if you had to go up against a southpaw. Southpaw versus orthodox, to me, is a little bit broken in the game. It makes things really hard, but it is what it is. But right here, we're, we're right here. This is, this is for training. This is for, this is a learning a learning mechanic this is a lesson this ain't no hate or nothing like that i just didn't like to see i didn't want to see easy go out like that and i was heated because zips took my drip man and then used it against the world he tried to take a little bit of hook city and use it against the world and hook city is going to shut him down Lanier is about to go down. He's really hurt. Lanier is really hurt. He's about to go down, y'all. Put my shoes on, y'all. Put my shoes on. About to take Lanier down. Got the shoes on. And he goes down. Didn't I tell you? Didn't I tell you? Lanieris is really hurt and he's about to go down. I put my shoes on and he went down. I must have like a crystal ball or something. Y'all think BZR is a hack? No, I'm not a hack. No, I don't have a crystal ball. I just know how to fight. And I'm trying to teach this man something. I don't want to see him go down like that no more. I don't want to see him go down like that no more. J Surge just told you what not to do on the commentary. He just told you what not to do, and it happened again, and it happened again, it happened again. Fight camp, baby. I don't know what they're teaching in everybody else's fight camp, but I actually teach fighting in my fight camp. Not right now, baby. Not right now. I actually teach fighting in my fight camp. It's not my fight camp. It's 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 um, NBK's fight camp, but I actually teach fighting in the NBA fight uh, in the. Natural Born Killers fight count. Again, what's going on? J Surge told you what not to do. You come out and do it again. He told you what not to do. You come out and do it again. So, 
We ain't learned our lesson yet, but it's okay. I'm a teacher. I'm a teacher. So I'm used to people not learning lessons. Could just could just be me, but I think Yusik is crazier with the body work more than Canelo, and Canelo's good, don't get me wrong. Uh you yeah, he is. He is crazy with the body work, without a doubt. But now that I've won this fight, now that it's over with, Easy said that I that, that if I beat him, I earned his respect and that he would take a fight lesson from me. So I beat him. Let's see if let's see if he if I earned his respect. If he if he goes on his word, let's see if I earned his respect. And then y'all will see a lesson out here. But that's only if okay, he says he he says he conceded. He wants the lesson. All right. Okay, uh I got to hurry this up because uh because uh Okay, because I got a fight coming up. Okay, I got I got a fight coming up in the DGL. Y'all come watch me. Uh, but I'm gonna I'm gonna do this lesson right here with Easy real quick. We're gonna try to get this lesson done in one in uh in one round. In one round, we're gonna get this lesson done. Okay. In one round. Yeah, yeah, I know, I know, I know what happened. It's the same thing that happened in, in that uh in that main event fight. I know exactly what happened. I told you. I I I showed Zips how to get it done. Zips came and took my drill. So, what we're going to do, we're going to go right back. We're going to run the same fighters. Actually, we're not we're not going to Yeah, I watched it. Yeah, I watched the main event. I I seen what was going on. I seen exactly what was going on. In fact, we're not we're not going to run the same fighters. We're not going to run the same fighters at all. I'm gonna show you. I'm gonna show you how to get this done. We go to welterweight. I'm gonna show you how to get it done, right here, right here, bro. You pick Canelo. You pick Canelo. Cause I'm sick and tired of seeing this. I am sick and tired of seeing this. I'm gonna show y'all. I'm not gonna say a word. You better use your eyeballs. If you got a recording thing or something on your on your PC or your cell phone, record the fight. And watch it over and over again. I'm gonna do one round. I'm gonna do one round. Easy pick Canelo. I'm gonna show you one time. We're doing one round. Easy pick Canelo. I got Sugar Ray Leonard. This is the the uh uh we think uh U6 is the lead body uppercut king, but definitely up next to the lead body uppercut king. Is definitely Canelo if he's not better than U6. So I want Easy to come out here and throw some lead body uppercuts. And I'm going to show you how to shut it down. Get your cameras rolling, folks. Get your cameras rolling. Record it. I'm not going to tell you anything. I'm just going to stop it. I'm just going to stop it. And then I and then y'all can come watch me at the DGL. Yeah, that's what I'm doing. I'm 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 not I'm not simulating. This works for all fighters. If you understand how to play undisputed, this works from woman's lightweight all the way up to heavyweight and everything in between and everything in between. Either you know how to fight or you don't. Oh my bad. I came I came in here on some bullshit. My bad. My bad. I might have to give you one more round because I came in 
uh, messed up. <laughs> I came in here fooling around. I didn't uh, I didn't put my shoes on, y'all. I didn't put my shoes on. Give me one second. Give me one second. Let me get back right. Yo, where's that lead body uppercut now? Where is it now? Where is it at now? <laughs> he rocked me. But that, if you didn't see it, if you didn't see it, then I guess you'll never know. I guess you'll never learn. But I told you to get your recorders out on how to stop it. If you didn't see it, you'll never learn. You'll never learn. If you can't see it right now, you'll never know. You'll never know. I'm not going to tell you how to handle the fight mechanic. If you can't see it right now, you'll never know. Outside of that, all I can tell you is join MBK. That's all I can tell you. Obviously, I wouldn't. I wouldn't try to win the fight in one round, but what this was was a demonstration on how to get it done. So if you didn't see it, you know what you can do? Come watch me in the DGL. I guarantee you whoever I fight is going to use the lead body uppercut and I will win the fight. And I will win the fight. Pay attention, folks. Pay attention. Easy. Did you learn anything? You were in the fight, Easy. You were in the fight. I know you've seen it. I know you felt it. If you learn anything, just, just say, okay. You don't have to spill the beans. Don't let the world know. Did you learn? I just want to know, were you able, were you able to, to see it in that fight? You got it? They say they got it. Some people know fight mechanics and they saw it. Some people know some people know they seen it, they know what to do, they saw it. Don't spill the beans. Don't spill I mean you can if you want to. If all I can tell you if you spill the beans, you're going to make it that much harder for for yourself and all the other fight camps and all the other people that you fight against or whatnot. You're going to make it that much harder for yourself. I just I was I was irritated. I was really irritated to the max that he ran the gauntlet with that fight style against some guys that um y'all clearly y'all want to be good fighters, y'all want to uh to win fights, y'all want to uh yeah, you'll have to beat me another time, bro. Uh y'all want to win fights, y'all want to be good at the game, and I want you to be good at the game. I want you to be the best fighters that you could be, even if that means beating me. But man, but man, that is that is Oh, that is ridiculous, bro. That is ridiculous. That is ridiculous. I don't want I don't want to I don't want to see any I don't want to see champions like that. I don't want to see people winning belts and being champions on, on uh anywhere like that. And uh you know, it happened. It happened, bro. It happened. Now you want some spaghetti? Uh n No, baby, no. Not right now. Okay, so I got to switch over to the DGL, and y'all are going to see me in a competition fight coming up. Uh, give me a second. Switching over to DGL. Put it on screen, and when they call me, when they call me up, when they call my number, I will fight. Um, all right, Dank League starting up. Uh, I guess they're just watching... Uh, they're watching some rerun fights. Let them know I'm here. Uh, I don't know how long it is to it's gonna start. I thought it had already started. Um, let me see right here. What's this? Ending. That's from Easy. All right, I got you on the Discord, Easy. Um. It says, do you know how to avoid it? Are you are you in the main event? Uh, the DGL doesn't really have a main event. They just like have a whole bunch of people just fight 
in a random order or something like that. You just come out and fight, and uh, and they they put a, a win or a loss next to your name. That's it. So currently in the DGL, they got me ranked number three. Um, I guess I just ain't got enough fights to be ranked number one, and that's okay. Uh, I, I asked my I asked uh, uh, the dank leader to um, put me up against the number one or the number two so I can go ahead and uh, and beat them and get to the top of the list. But, uh, you know, we'll see. We'll see if I get to go up against the number one or the number two in the DGL. Um, and I can tell you that... Where's the DGL? Here it is. Um, on the DGL list, it says the number one... It says they have the Fight Night champion i guess there's a guy with a crown on his name and his name is uh fight night's finest he's four and oh with one ko then they have the number one fighter uh which is switch switch flip jones he's three and one and then they got ken ken muir l ken muir i guess that's i don't know how to say his name l ken l just call him ken they got ken he's three and one and he is number two in the DGL and they have me listed as number three with a uh, two wins and one KO I thought I had three wins on the DGL but uh, I guess I don't I'm number two so well, let's see if we can uh, climb that ladder um yo what's up sauce what's up sauce let's see here uh, so they're using the main event. What's their Twitch Discord or what? Yeah, the DGL. Oh, oh, their Twitch. Wait, you want the Twitch? What's their Twitch and Discord? Um, I think you'll post their Discord in the thing, but I'll give you their their Twitch right now because uh, this is what I'm on. I'll copy it and paste it so you can uh, watch it directly on your own PC if you want to. That's it. That's the uh, the DGL right there, um, and I'm not really good with working Discord. I guess I'm just an old man and I just don't have it together. So that's Cody. That's Cody Dank right there. So uh, that's the leader of the, the the DGL. He's the guy that runs it. So we'll see. I I don't know. I don't know uh, if I'm going to be the first fight or the second fight, the third fight or the last fight. I have no idea, but I'm going to sit here until they till they call my name. And I, maybe I'll even do some commentating. I'll just sit here and watch them, and I'll do some commentating. And Cody Dink's doing his thing. He likes to smoke or whatnot. He's doing his thing. So I'll commentate some of these fights until they, until they call me up. I don't, don't. I don't know what weight class I'll be in, but I'm pretty sure I signed up from middleweight down to uh, bantamweight. What, baby? What? Can I use the bathroom? Yes. Thank you. Yes.
welcome. Can I touch me eat? No, baby. All right. Um, what is he clicked on? The official card. Okay, I'm like looking here, looking here, looking here. So, uh, okay, so he does have a, a a card list right here already made up. Um, and it says that it says that I am the I am versus Fight Night's finest in the main card. So I'm gonna be I'm gonna be the last fighter, I guess. Um, and I'll be up against uh I'll be up against the champ Fight Night's Fight Night's finest. I asked for a. Uh, I asked for, uh, you know, give me the best. I asked to, uh, I asked them to, uh, what in the world? Why is, oh, I thought I had uh, the stream up. Give me a second. Let me close this. Let me close the game. It still doesn't pull it up. Oh, Streamlabs is different, bro. Streamlabs is on some different stuff. So give me a second on if I can figure this out. Streamlabs is different. I literally thought y'all were looking at the uh, at the DGL at the same time as me right now, but y'all were still looking at the game. So give me a second to uh, figure out how to put the fight put the fight up. The only scrappy yo, what's up? He said my fight's coming up soon. Yeah, I got the I got the last fight. I'm the main card. Supposedly, I'm against the uh, the top rated fighter in the DGL. I, I asked I asked Dank to not give me a scrub. I said, "Don't give me no scrubs, Dank." So he he he's got me up against the the king. So we're gonna see if I get knocked the fuck out or not. You know what I'm saying? I could. Yeah, he's the best. He's supposedly the best fighter. So we are gonna see if I get knocked out. I asked for it. Um He said he going to give me a fight even if even if the uh even if the champ don't show up. He said he going to give me a fight. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. I'm bring I'm bringing the smoke, man. If y'all want a competition fight, man, I'm where I'm where the competition is at, bro. Anywhere they have competitions, you you gonna see me there. I want to be the best. I might not be the best right now, but I'm trying to figure out how to be the best. I'm also trying to figure out how to uh, post this uh, get my live stream showing the fight. I'm a little bit I'm a little bit slow. I'm a little bit slow. Give me a second. Oh, I bet I bet if I do this, this will make it work. <laughs> Trump twenty twenty four. There goes there goes Zay. There goes Zay. Trump twenty twenty four. Yeah, I'm fighting them. I'm fighting. I'm fighting Fight Night's finest today. That's me versus BZR. I'm fighting them. Yo, should I be scared, champion? Should I be scared? Am I gonna lose? Am I about to get knocked out? Oh man, I was hoping you was you was supposed to say I better tuck my tail. I was hoping you you was finna say yo BZR, you in a world of shit. <laughs> He's good though, so that, that's good. That's good. You said he's good though. I thought I was finna go in here and learn. I thought I was finna learn today. I thought he was finna put the motherfucking hands on me. I'm gonna learn today. Yeah, but I'm the man that killed Moby Dick with a stick. That's it. He ain't no Moby. Oh man, he ain't no Moby Dick. A polar bear with red hair. You in the ring with a polar bear with red hair. Did your mama take you to the YMCA? Did 
The same girl. <laughs> he says he. Okay, bro is his bro is dying every time he hits. Yeah, yeah, he dying. I'm trying to figure out how to how to capture my how to capture my uh internet. This is weird. I don't know how to do it. Um I'm I'm bad with uh technology, bro. Um cl clearly I'm bad. Um live overlay, no, that's not it. Clearly, I don't know what I'm doing. So right now, this I'm on Streamlabs, and the and it it captures only the game, but it won't capture anything else. It's not. I don't I don't know how to capture um, my regular window background. That's crazy. I don't. However, they got it set up. I can't. Uh, can't capture. Uh, I can't. Like I basically like I my my uh, wallpaper. Like my desktop wallpaper. Clearly, it's not. This is not my desktop wallpaper. So it will not capture. Um, it will not capture my desktop. So. I don't know how to uh, how to fix this. Try screen capture. Okay, give me a second. Give me a second. Screen capture, here we go. Add source. I don't know what fucking source I'm gonna add. Let's see here. Desk. Oh, here we go, I got it, I got it. Yo, thank you for uh, helping me out with like uh, working my, my brain muscles. My brain muscles are they're fully going right now. Um. So, how are you gonna say who's MBK? Oh, oh, he sh he wants to know who's in the camp. My bad. He knows who's in the. He doesn't have a updated. So, all right, so let me get my, uh, I'm trying to figure out how to get my, uh, thank you, Sauce Live, thank you, I gotta get my, uh, my picture back in there now. <laughs> how do I do it? Got it. There I am. There I am. Got it. All right, now, now, now we cooking with grease, baby. Now we cooking with grease.
All right. And uh, we're going to get, I'm going to uh, get some of the MBK members in here. I'm going to unmute them and we're going to, we'll talk a little bit. I'll probably end up muting Cody Dank. We'll be talking. Okay. I'll be talking to him. I'll be talking to him in a little bit. I'm going to let, I'm going to let Cody talk for a little bit until we get the fight started and then I'll get in the chat. So right now we got Cooper versus Red Ninja Beard. So uh So we're going to see what's going on. They what well they this is a heavyweight fight. So there's there's not really a whole lot to talk about right here. So, finna get finna get on their head, y'all. Finna get on their head. All right, so so we got a. Let me go ahead and mute this guy. So we got they're fighting a heavyweight. I'm not really big on heavyweight, but like I said, all the fight mechanics are pretty much the same from from women's lightweight all the way up to men's heavyweight. It's all the same. Um, they just move a little bit faster or slower. So let me bring in MBK on here as well, uh, and they'll be talking. What's up? What's up? Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm in here. I'm on. I'm on live. So I don't know if you're like telling out some information you don't want to get out just yet. Can y'all hear me? Okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's me. Okay. Down to down to verse. Oh yeah, I'm I'm watching uh, the DGL um live, and I'll just like uh just like doing a little commentating or whatever until uh it's my fight i guess i got the main event slayer wants to talk to me who who what when who where did he say that oh um i'm sure he's just i don't know shit i'm ASAP. Uh, might it might have been I might have been all that smoke that I was saying last night. Maybe you know I put his name in the mix. You know maybe maybe he don't want me to to say something about his name or something like that. But I I didn't really say anything. I don't know what he wants to talk about, but I didn't say anything about you know what me and him talked about. I just was talking about yo I test dude got blazed in the second round, and uh and that's it. I didn't say nothing confidential. <laughs> Dude got blazed in the second round. Yeah. Yeah, I don't know. Yeah, I have no idea. I couldn't tell you what he wants to talk about. He might he might want to be talking about uh camp fights or something like that, you know. Uh or maybe you know, maybe he just feel maybe he just like 
because I've already talked to him. Maybe he feels like comfortable talking to to me and you because I've already he hasn't talked to you. You know what I'm saying? It might be something like that. <laughs> yeah, yeah, definitely not, man. Man, that other guy, man, he ain't, like, like, I talked to Dre, bro. Dre was telling me, man, like, some of these dudes not not worth my energy, you know what I'm saying? And I, it's hard for me to control it because, you know, my energy get get out of control real fast. But Dre told me, like, yo, a lot a lot of people not worth your energy like that. So I'm, 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 trying, to, I'm trying to keep it cool, level-headed, and, and be entertaining at the same time. But, you know, sometimes... Sometimes that's gonna happen. Like, like, look at this. Look at this right here, man. <laughs> I just keep it. I just keep it real raw and uncut, man. Look, DGL is. Uh, let's just let's just dare to say less organized than Savage, and they already got a better turnout. You know, let's just let's just cut the long story short. DGL is less organized, less, um, he, this is like one dude running this thing, bro, and he's smoking mid-fight, and he got, he got more, uh, he got more views, he got more people, he got mo. he, he, I don't know, you tell me, you tell me, what you did, baby, you ate your food? You didn't eat your food like that plate empty. You, there was never any spaghetti in that plate. There was spaghetti. No, nah, that wasn't. What you wash it? You didn't eat it like that. I don't I see nothing red in there. Quit playing with me. I didn't wash it. Yeah, you washed it. No, I didn't. So I can tell you. So I can come here. Girl, bye. So you didn't, you didn't you. lick the plate. Get out of here. <laughs> it was so good. I bet it was. Oh yeah, they didn't have no sauce, so they just ate it with just meat, meat and uh, noodles, I guess. So that's why it was no sauce on the plate. And he's rocked. So who's who is that? I can't even read the names. It's fighting right. It doesn't even matter. He said, "DGL FIFA, y'all don't want that smoke." I wish I could play some soccer. I wish I could. Uh, how how I end up meeting? Man, a long time ago, I ain't seen Super Troopers in a minute. What's his name? What's his name? Man, look. Look. I, I don't know.
know if you've been if you've been there, Serge, but he but he but he had he had me on prelims, bro. It lasted thirty seconds, bro. The fight was over. First punch. That fight was over, man. Oh, he didn't change it? He just said it's gonna be you and Wayne no matter what. So 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 wait a second, Jay Search. <laughs> Peach guy, Lee. <laughs> Gosh, it peached. <laughs> oh my God, he going too hard. No, man, hey man, right, bro, I'm I'm not I'm not I'm not storming no capital, man. You know what I'm saying? Nah, bro, nah. You you got to be the right color to storm the capital, man. I'm out of there. Look, 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 he woke up, he woke up drunk, man. <laughs> uh, this is ridiculous. It doesn't matter, bro. He lost. He lost, bro. It don't matter. Next fight. Next man up. Yo, so. So, Serge, man, what happened, bro? How did you end up losing in the first round? Like, I, I signed. I got on the computer and I look at the card and everything. I see zips going down the line. I see Jay Serge in the first column. I'm like, what? What happened? You got outboxed or you got body spammed? I figured as much, and I knew the same thing. I I knew, like I said, I was. You asked me to join, in, and I was like, man, I would have to like, I would have to practice all night to get my cruiser weight down right to get it. I don't want to show up and then you know what I'm saying, like not be prepared. But if I had been like right now, I could I could whoop zips right now. I don't need to practice all night for that. <laughs> Right. It definitely is. Definitely is. Alright. Um. Yeah, I think they might be getting ready to fight. Uh, Wayne, Wayne and Surge. Yeah. So man, I. I I ain't tripping y'all. Undisputed champ said that and he seen that I was fighting uh fight night's finest, but he said that uh he's pretty 
He said I'm good, but what he's listening to? Let me listen. Oh, now I'm done, bro. I only needed like five seconds of that. Yeah, I'm done. I needed five five seconds of that. The the, <laughs> the sus, yo he, uh, yeah, yeah he, yeah, yeah. Look at him. He 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 into it, bro. He into it. I ain't with it, bro. I I turn that shit off immediately. Nope. <laughs> bro, you can't have. Slayer. Oh, Slayer's one in the talk right now? Oh, okay. Give me a second. I'll go in there. Yeah, I'll go in there. Give me a second. Let me mute this.
Okay, let me see here. I'm sorry, y'all. I, I had everything muted for a second. Had a whole lot of, uh, you know, personal talks going on. You know, there's a lot of guys that actually care about Undisputed and they care about being a good fighter and everything. And uh, I was just... um. Um, I was just, uh, you know, doing my thing, talking and stuff. Yo, what happened? Did uh, did uh, did Jay Surge win or lose, man? What's going on? I missed that. I was I was talking so much. You know, we we getting some things fleshed out, man. We getting a lot of things fleshed out that we're not gonna we're not gonna sit here and and let uh, let some uh some people running these leagues just do whatever they want to do, man. J Surge got slept respectfully. I, I when I looked up, bro, I was surprised to see that they even allowed uh um uh, Sugar Ray to fight. That they that they allowed um He said that was a fun ranked match. I was surprised I was surprised that they allowed that they allowed Sugar Ray Robinson in there. I seen that he was uh he was um What's his name? Uh, Sergio Martinez versus Sugar Ray Robinson. I was like, what? They don't got no bands or nothing like that. But hey, like I say, bro, everybody's not everybody's not a you know like an all around fighter or whatnot. Um, you know, there's different you know different strokes for different folks. You know what I'm saying? Um, Sugar Ray Robinson not gonna get me. He not gonna get me, bro. Not gonna happen, bro. Not gonna happen. Needs to be better commentators, bro. Hey, I'll commentate for you. You don't need to watch that shit. I'll commentate for you right now. You just watch it right here. BZR does it the best. I fight the best. I commentate the best. I talk the best shit. And uh, anything else you can think of, I do that shit good too. <laughs> so let, let's let's see what, what foolery we got going on right here. Cause I, I'll I'll commentate I'll commentate all the way up until uh until my fight, so um we got we got even more foolery like I don't even want to commentate this bro and that's that's a guy from my camp Sigma but uh oh no that's a that's a Sugar Ray Leonard versus a Robinson right so okay I'll commentate this I'll commentate this I hate mirror matches I hate mirror matches man do I hate mirror matches I will not participate if somebody picks my fighter I'll just pick a different fighter. I don't like to to deal with mirror matches. So, um, let's see what we got here. Yo, what's up, um, Ezekiel? Ezekiel Khan, this is not your first time. Oh, it might be your first time chatting. I'm pretty sure I seen when you uh you followed me. Um, a few days ago, I seen you hit the follow button, but uh, I guess you never chatted. How you doing? Uh, never heard of TSS Five Five Nights. Any good? Um, Undisputed Champion came in here and told me that Fight Night's finest is uh, he's a good fighter, but he said that I don't have anything to worry about. Cause uh, as soon as he said that, I was like, man, I thought you were gonna come in here and tell me that uh, I got no chance. I, I got no chance at winning. He's about to beat the brakes off of me. That's what I wanted to hear. I wanted to. I wanted to hear that I was gonna go into a, go into a, uh, into a war, and this dude was gonna kill me. But uh, that's not what I was told. Um, so it might be some light work. I'm not sure. Am I the guy from Fortnite? Um, I don't know who the guy from Fortnite is. I uh, despise, there's two things I don't like in gaming right now. I do not like Fortnite and I do not like, um, well, three things, Roblox and I do not like Minecraft right there, three things. I don't like Fortnite, I don't like Roblox and I don't like Minecraft. And those things in gaming, I absolutely don't like, bro. I do not like anybody that I, I'm shooting I'm shooting a motherfucker, bro, and then all of a sudden they build a goddamn tent and, and then a, a mansion and then the mansion turns into a skyscraper. Bro, I'm not I'm not with that, bro. I'm not with it. I hate that shit. Yeah, bro, I'm not I'm I'm not with it, bro. I'm sorry. I'm not that guy. I'm not that guy, man. Um, if I'm gonna play a shooter, 
I'm gonna I'm gonna play Battlefield and and Call of Duty and Call of Duty really really left a bad taste in my mouth with this last Call of Duty that came out. So uh you know I guess Battlefield it is, but the problem with Battlefield is Battlefield don't really have no competition. There's really no there's really no comp fights in Battlefield. So uh let's go let's go to uh right here man. We we got a good one on our hands. Look at this fight. Sigma is is lighting up uh Sugar Ray Robinson, little little wing or whatever his name is. Sigma is Sigma is taking him to the paparazzi, bro. He is dead. I couldn't even get a chance to start to start commenting on the fight. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. He got him on a red carpet and they taking pictures. Woo! He oh yeah, he got that Kermit the Frog. He knocking that ass out, bro. Sigma. Sigma is giving them the business. Oh, I don't know why he got back up because it's gonna be more where that came from. Let's let's watch Sugar Ray Leonard dial it up, baby. Let's watch Leonard dial it up. He's working the left. He come he comes with right hooks, left hook, right hook, left foot, right hook. He's beaming that boy head, all hooks, beaming that boy head, all hooks, baby. He going up on the map, up on the mat, and beaming his head. Let oh, then he go to the body, then left hook, right hook. You got sugar, this. sugar, hey baby, I love you. Everybody, see, everybody put in a good chat. My dad got this. You got this. You got this. <laughs> All right, everybody. All right, sweetheart, go back in there. Hey, I'm back there. now. I'm back now. Yeah, they they see you back, Bala girl. Go in there. All right, Leonard is whooping this man, but throwing nothing but hooks. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. <laughs> the young hook city, yeah, that's my baby right there. That's my baby. For y'all, for for y'all that don't know, that's that's my baby girl. And uh, uh you might not be able to tell, but uh she she has special needs, she's very high functioning. And uh, and uh, she gets it done no matter what, man. She gets it done no matter what. You're talking about somebody that uh, has the best, the best spirits, is happy every day. She don't got no complaints, no complaints whatsoever, man. Uh, no matter anybody uh, talking about her or whatnot. That's a good girl. So yeah, back to the fight, man. Uh, yeah, Sigma, uh, Sigma putting them paws on him, bro. Putting them paws on him. That kid got no draws. He clapping them, bro. Clapping them cheeks. Uh, this fight is in the third round, and it is literally over. He has no answer to uh, the hooks of Sigma. Oh uh, yeah, she that's my baby girl. She's happy um every day, man, every day. She got a she got a good outlook on the world. She has a great outlook. You know, maybe that's where I get it from. Maybe that's why I'm such a fighter, man. I'm around her and and uh shit, she ain't let she ain't let nothing stop her. So if, if my daughter can do it, I can do it. Um if she could, if she could run through people talking about her and uh and still and still be a good person and still have a good outlook daddy can too i wish i wish somebody would try to shut me down on the fight game you can't shut me down i can run through any fighter at any time if i get beat up we go back to the lab and we do it again How we need that middleweight fight attorney? Def definitely. Uh, we we're gonna we're gonna let Zips we're gonna let Zips you know uh have his little parade for right now. He's he's gonna go up against some certain people and stuff. We're gonna let you know Zips Zips enjoy the limelight for a little bit, but uh then we then we're gonna we're gonna snatch his we're gonna snatch his shine. We're gonna snatch his shine, bro. 
Um, and it's not going to be pretty when I do it. It's going to be, I don't even know how to taunt in game, but I'm going to make sure that I, that I know how to do the taunt and when, and when I'm standing over them, when I give them the KO, the hook city KO, I'm going to be sure to taunt. I will be sure to taunt right over Zip's body. Okay, a lightweight tourney. Yeah, I'll, I'll run that lightweight tourney. Shit, go ahead, sign me up. Go ahead, put BZ's names on there. Lightweight? Psh, got him. Got him. My my uh, competition debut was a light was a lightweight fight. So uh, I, I actually have grown to love lightweights. I used to be welterweight only, and I've grown to love the lightweight division. And uh, yeah, I, I show out in lightweight. In any division I go in, I bring the power. I bring the power. Um, so this this fight right here, man, is really. <laughs> you know it, bro. You know Hitman coming out. What you what you talking about? You know it's gonna be the uh, cerebral assassin, Ricky Hatton. You know I'm coming with it. I mean, that's if he. I, I there's a lot of people that are the, um, different leagues that have bands and things like that. If Ricky's banned, you know I could fight with other. I could fight with other fighters, man. I got a good Gotti. I got a good Hitman. I got a good. Uh, Ryan Garcia. I could fight with all the fighters, bro. You name it, I could fight. Oh man. I'm t yo, undisputed. I'm telling you. I'm telling you. Most people don't know it, but Ricky got some power in his gloves, bro. Ricky knocked people out. Um I just knocked out a uh Well let me tell you, okay, if we're talking about that right now. I have something to say about clearly OP OP fighters in this game. And there I got something to say. These fighters with lightning hands, all of them, all fighters that have the lightning hand trait, they are broken. They are broken. If you I don't know if you got like any type of committee or whatever y'all have at WECB, but y'all need to check into all in every single weight class, all the fighters with lightning hands is broken. George Linares, Sergio Martinez, they broke it. Yeah, because he was up against a, a Sugar Ray uh, Robinson. And <laughs> yeah, you should have won, but uh, but uh, what? We'll, we'll, Right, he was he was trash for real. <laughs> so there's there's certain things, man, like when you when you when you're playing one point five stam and you go to one X stam, you have to be um you have to change your strategy up a little bit. The KOs don't come as fast. The uh like taking the power away from the fighter doesn't come as fast. That's because of Sugar Ray Robinson. He doesn't die off. This is what is Sugar Ray Robinson up in this bit too. He said, "Hold on, hold on, one second. He says, "What is my opinion of?" Having Sugar Ray Robertson unbanned in the esports league. I don't want to speak out of pocket, but man, that pisses me off. That's all I can say on the matter. Um, that's uh, WECB unsup uh, undisputed. Um, yeah, I think that uh, Sugar Ray Robertson has to be banned, bro. But 
says and then undisputed says he has to be unbanned as long as Sergio is allowed. And and I am definitely of of that of what undisputed champion just said. These lightning hand these white these lightning hand fighters are 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 broken beyond belief and the only way to combat it is with um Sugar Ray Robinson. But but Sugar Ray Robinson, even though he's OP as hell and he beats every single other fighter, he can be beaten. He can be dismantled. So I don't know, man. I, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, and see that that's the there's a problem with that the, with the welterweight, the wel the welterweight uh weight class is very top heavy. This is by the way we don't hear your Discord. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Um. So let me see here. Yeah, it come. Yeah, at a at a one X stamp, you have to go to the body for six rounds for a one X stamp. If you're in a one point five stamp, you can get a, a fighter in trouble in in the first two rounds. After the first two rounds, if he doesn't defend himself, he's in trouble. But it'll take six rounds of one X stam for the same thing to happen, which is is why I have a problem with with uh, fighting on one X damage or one X stamina. That sh that stuff is not um, competition fighting. That's not competition fighting. You need to up the stam, up the damage, and if you get knocked out, you get knocked out. Um, it says here. By the way, we don't hear your Discord. Uh, okay, so then when uh, so yeah, what I was talking about the welterweight division is a problem. It's a problem because if you take Sugar Ray Robinson off the board, all you got left is a uh, Sugar Ray Leonard. So then you said you're gonna have a lot of Sugar Ray Leonard matchups, right? So you take you uh, you take say you take Sugar Ray Robinson and Sugar Ray Leonard off the board. Next up is Canelo and Crawford those guys definitely have to get taken off the board because they would dominate uh everybody under uh 90 and below they would dominate everybody everybody other 90 and below and then once you get into the 80s you can't have Sergio fighting any 80 fighters so he got to be the first one up out of there after you ban all those people then you might have a uh, um, a competitive boxing in welterweight, and that's just what I gotta say. You get you gotta ban like the top five guys. I think it's five or six in in uh, welterweight to make it even. Uh, Cause and and it's and it's because, like I said, if you if you take if you take Robinson out, all you're gonna see is Sugar Ray Leonard matchups. That's it. Yeah, not yeah. I can see why. I can see yeah. You could just get rid of welterweight altogether. If you if you get rid of Robertson, it's going to be Sugar Ray Leonard over and over and over again. And uh, there's really nothing you could. There's really nothing you can do about it. It's it's a top heavyweight class. There's nothing you can do. There like like if you get rid of all these guys. If you get down to so you get rid of Robinson, Leonard, and let's just say Canelo. Bud Crawford is a problem. He he's got the highest defense in the game. You're gonna have to beat on him round after round after round after round and be an extremely skilled fighter to take him out. Um 
So that's why you got to get rid of everybody. You got to get rid of all the 90 fighters. And you got to dip in and get rid of Sergio Martinez. And then it would be even. Which is ridiculous. You're left with like maybe five valuable fighters. Which is pretty much the same thing you would have been left with. If you just leave Sugar Ray Robinson in there. If you leave Robinson in there, you open up the whole weight class. Sergio Martinez made that possible because the lightning hands is broken. So if you put Sergio Martinez in there, put... Yeah, I don't think he's uh, at the desk. Yeah, if you... Um, yeah, yeah. If if you if you bring in Sergio Martinez, that counteracts Robertson, and it is what it is. Yeah, Stigma. I seen you. Uh, I seen you. Uh, put them paws on that guy, and you can see Sugar Ray. Rob, uh, Sugar Ray Leonard can take Robertson out. It's just that if anybody else picks, uh, Sugar Ray Robertson, with, uh, and they try to fight him with a fighter lesser than Leonard. They're going to lose, basically. So all you're going to see is Sugar Ray Leonard versus Robinson or Sergio versus Robinson. Because there's going to be all these people that pick Sugar Ray Robinson. So the way to, the welterweight class is just screwed. It's screwed. Welterweight is just screwed. Just Yeah, just get rid of it. The, the lightweight is a better class. Lightweight's better. And I think, and I think the way to to make lightweight the the way to make lightweight the best class is just get rid of Sugar Ray Robinson and George Linares. Those two gotta go, and uh, Bud Crawford, obviously. Yeah, 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 yeah. Linares, Bud Crawford, and uh, Robinson, and then you have the. You have that's the. No, that's a horrible matchup. You have the best weight class without those three guys gone because because George Linares can can rock. Uh, what'd you just say? His name is the uh, Garcia. He can rock Garcia with one punch, with one punch. Well, I'm I'm saying since the patch where they boosted the the strength on uh, hooks, he, yeah. So so now he rocks uh he he rocks the other guy. George Linares can rock uh, Garcia in one punch in the first round if the fight could be over with one punch. So that I think Garcia, Crawford, and Robinson got to go, and you have a perfect field to fight with so uh, this is a pretty interesting uh, uh, fight right here we got Nigel Ben versus uh, Sugar Ray Robinson with, yeah which I mean I'll, I'll, I'll clown Sugar Ray Robinson bro I'll clown him but uh, uh th this is a in order for Nigel Ben to beat Sugar Ray Robinson, man, he's got to work like a hundred times harder than that Sugar Ray. Yeah, yeah. It's because he like fully extends his arms, and he's a he's a fighter. <laughs> well, he said he got them gorilla he got gorilla arms. That's how Roy Jones looks too with them crazy long arms. If I'm going to add a new weight class, it will be the woman's weight class. 
Okay, so they've been, yeah. Yeah, the yeah, woman's weight class would be would be great, Undisputed. I personally haven't been fighting in it, but it's the most equal fight class. And yeah, you just take that 190 fighter off, and uh, it's a perfect weight class. And maybe watch out for any of the women's fighters that have lightning hands. I haven't really checked them out, but lightning hands is a problem. That shit is broken. Um, yeah, so just looking at this fight, uh, Nigel Ben versus Sugar Ray Robinson, what Nigel has to do is he has to go to the body of Sugar Ray Robinson. I mean, this fight's already over with, but the strategy to, to do to uh, beat Sugar Ray Robinson is go to the body, um, have very, very good stam management, and uh, once you basically uh, surpass uh Robertson in a uh, body stam. You could go back to the head. <laughs> you could go back to the head and uh, get him with the power straight, and uh, you could really KO Sugar Robinson. Um, that's that's what you got to do. You got to go to the body, get the strength off of his punches. Slow him down just a little bit. Sugar Ray Robinson has the fastest hands. No matter how much you hit him in the body, his hand speed won't stop, but he won't have power in his hands. So then you could really line up a right straight, and you can finish him. So, oh look at that! I just spoke of a. I just spoke of the of the right straight. I just spoke of it. Let's go. Let's go. Uh, <laughs> oh, what's wrong with him? What's wrong with him? Oh, it probably was a disconnect or something. Nah, it's too late, homie. Nah, I don't want to hear nothing about that DC. Nah, Wayne, Wayne, Wayne busted that boy. I don't want to hear nothing about that. Nah, get 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 Wayne the dub. Oh, that was Yuzay. It wasn't you. It was you. It was Trump. Yeah, he disconnected. Zay, how you get busted with that right straight like that, Zay? I didn't even know it was you. And, and why and why you picked Sugar Ray Robinson? Just because you could? I'm asking questions out here. I'm in, I'm interviewing. I'm interviewing. Why you doing all that? <laughs> oh my goodness yeah i i really like never f never fought with any women nah he's he's in here in my discord he got he got disconnected <laughs> yeah right Cody smoke. Yeah. Cody really. He really smoking. I don't know what he got, but he got some good, good to believe that. Even I don't believe that. Come on now. <laughs> the inside of his mattress. Oh my goodness. That boy, that boy, crazy, yo, undisputed man. WCB, you need, you need to go, like, you need to go like on a on a presidential run or something, man, and, and like and like get the com get the community, get their get their um their mind together, man. You gotta. This is insane. That's that's what's going on in this in the, these boxing leagues right now, bro. It's just insanity. You need to go on a promotional, and uh, uh, you know maybe even just look, like make a like a little a YouTube uh, documentary cut or whatever, and say like, and say like this is what we're doing in undisputed boxing. If this happens, we'll handle it this way, 
if that happens we'll handle it this way and uh, really uh, lay down the the unofficial official rules of uh, of this game and what makes sense like some logical shit Cause these dudes are out here like I don't know they this is your brains on drugs you remember that commercial that's what it looked like this is this is absolutely crazy yo yo WECB the next fight I'm gonna do a real commentary I'm gonna do a real if you stay right here I'm gonna do a real commentary of what I see without giving up the sauce because I see a lot of stuff and I know what you're supposed to do to win the fight and not lose a fight so I, I can't give up the sauce I'm just gonna talk about what I see oh yeah I still don't have my uh my uh my little audio things going man with the uh, the grocery store stuff I, I gotta I gotta fix that source code Sorry about that, Zay. Oh, man, you're wasting your points, bro. Don't waste them. All right. Yo, and be, and be here, man. Be here for, uh, you know, I'm the main event. Be here to, to watch me do uh, Fight Night's Finest. He going to let him run it back? Okay. Okay. Yo, Zay, you in there, Zay? Oh, you don't know when. Okay. What the fuck? I just got a UFC in through your stream. Hates ads, but happy to see a UFC one. <laughs> okay. Uh. Yeah, I don't know if you heard what I said, but I'm going to do a commentary. Man, half of these people don't don't know how to play the game, man. It ain't even worth knowing their names. They won't be good unless they come to a fight camp and ha have, some, have somebody train them, bro. Uh, uh, an elitist. <laughs> elitist, bro. They ain't going to be shit. Ah. Yo, what's up, Mota? He can't. He came back to hear me talk that shit. Hear from what you mean? He say here for the show. Yeah, bro, I got a fight coming up. Main event, Mota. I'm versus Fight Night's finest, BZR. <laughs> Yo, it's all good. Hey, undisputed, man. WCB, you can get in the ring with me anytime, bro. Anytime. I'll be nice. And, and, and unless you want to hear it, unless you really want to hear it, you can't catch Moby Dick with a stick. Oh, you want the rage? <laughs> he don't want the boxing. He will. He want me to act up, boy. Hey, hey, hey guess what I did? Guess what? I, yeah, man. Sl Slayer, Slayer came to the stream. So that's what Slayer wanted. To, Slayer wanted to talk to talk about some other stuff. But he, but he came to the Discord, and I and I put him on what happened last night, and he said that he was gonna. He was gonna get in the um Okay. Uh yeah, no problem. Tyrant Slayer? Nah, uh Slayer that uh fought Job. Uh, is that his name? Tyrant is his name Tyrant Slayer? I don't think so. Yeah, Slayer with three R's, yeah. Slayer the fight Job on last on last Saturday's uh fight card. I think it was Savage Boxing or something like that. 
when uh he that guy came to the uh, Discord and talked to me, and I uh, and I told him what I said last night, all the rage and everything. He laughed about it. He said he was gonna take the video. He he said he was gonna take the video, and him. He said he was going to take the video and everybody from his camp, uh, the jab camp, they was all going to watch it together uh, about all the bullshit that I had to say about how Job and Moisty ain't shit and, uh, and that and that Parsecs League ain't shit. He said that, that he's going to, that they're going to have a watch party and watch me talk about it. Nah, nah, WCB. Now I got I I heard I heard I got some word, bro. I um I heard you know through the grapevine that that um some of their top fighters are uh basically butthurt about losing fights due to body spam. They butthurt about losing fights due to body spam, and. They uh they are gonna take the L's off their record. If if um if they're if you go into a Savage League boxing event and you lose due to body spam at any moment in time, the leaders of Savage of Savage uh boxing can scrub the L off of their names. People that got people that lose due to body spam. That is absolutely ridiculous. So at any time they can fix records and they can keep their power rankings however they want them. And that's they're basically they're basically crybabies. Yeah, that's the wrong way to handle it. Basically, they're crybabies. They don't know how to play the game. Um they're they're scrubbing stats, they're scrubbing records, they're keeping their top fighters on on top, and and they're uh they're they're doing whatever they want. They're doing whatever they want over there, bro. They're doing whatever they want, whatever they deem as body spam. They could literally just scrub that L, and and the and the and the win that you get is not awarded, and the fight is just null and void because you didn't fight the way they want you to fight. Nah, bro, they have no comprehension of how to play the game. And, and WECB, I want you to spar with me. In fact, WECB, I want to have a spar with you offline. I want to have a, I want to have a, and yeah, this is perfect. This is perfect, WECB. Listen, 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 listen really closely. Whenever you have time, I know you're a busy man. Whenever you have time on your hand, um, I want to spar with you. I'm going to go over in-depth in fight mechanics the stuff that I teach in my in my boxing league, I'm gonna go word for word, step for step, boxing mechanics to make you a top level boxer, so that you know exactly what's going on in these fights, so that you can dispel any cheating and and and, and you can for yourself understand and and determine why these fighters are winning and losing. I will get you to be a tip top fight, man. If you listen to the things that I tell you, man, you, you'll be able to get in the ring and beat me up. You'll be able to win. You'll be able to whoop my ass. I'm going to give you step-by-step -step instructions, one-on-one, -on -one, off, off live, because I don't want to tell everybody. I'm going to take it. I'm going to take it off live, and I want you to really understand exactly what's going on. Cause I think you judge body spam from the stats, from the scorecards. Still hand over the win to whoever wins and handle the behind the scenes and hand out warnings and bans from there on. Yeah, you could, and I and I and I'm cool with that too. If if the league wants to step in and they want to slow down body spam and things like that, uh, long as it long as it's confidential. You know what I'm saying? Like, as long as it's confidential, it's between the league and the fighters. I'm cool with that. I'm cool with that. But to just scrub win losses, 
nah, bro, that's not gonna that that it doesn't go down like that. You can't scrub win losses. And and like I said, I'm gonna I'll give you a one on one WECB, and I'll show you exactly what's going on with these fighters and exactly the fight mechanics and everything you need to know for you to understand um, what real cheese is and what isn't real cheese and what you can defeat and what you can't defeat. Like, I'm, I'll, man, I'll give you all the tools in the book. Every, every single little thing that I know, I'll lay it out for you, bro. And you will be surprised. You will be surprised. The things that I know. Oh, trust me. Trust me, WECB. I got the sauce. And I guess you need to know these things because you are you are the um the commentator. You are running one of the best leagues in the game right now. So you have to know all the sauce. If you're commentating and you don't know all the sauce, it could become a problem. So I'm gonna give you every drop of what I know. So that we so that we can get this shit handled. I'm going to give you every drop of what I know. It's definitely a skill issue, uh, Mandu. What I see out here is it's a it's a pure skill issue, and people don't have fight comprehension. They don't understand how to play the game the right way. And yes, uh, Mota, whether it's cheap or not, isn't it a part of the game? That's like trying to regulate uh, camping in an FPS. That is exactly like trying to regulate camping in an FPS. That is exactly what we're talking about right here. Yes, sir. That's exactly what we're talking about. We're talking about people. We're talking about people basically point shaving. We're doing these fights. We're fighting. And you get a win and an L in the loss column, and then we got back. Then we got we got leaders of the fight leagues going back and scrubbing scrubbing the L's off of records. We're talking we're like this is literally like point shaving. This is insane. Can't do it. You can't tell somebody that they can't fight a certain way. You can't tell somebody that their win isn't a win. And you can't tell somebody that their loss isn't a loss. Like, it's absolutely ridiculous. Um, this is actually a really good uh, fight right here. Uh, Wayne versus, uh, I mean, Wayne versus uh, Zay. And he's got Porter versus uh, um, Nigel Ben. It's absolutely good fight. And uh, um, Wayne is, uh, I mean... Zay is taking uh taking uh Wayne to the cleaners, bro. Oh, that's stupid to me. That's stupid to me. If it wasn't for money, you definitely couldn't do that. Absolutely, bro. Abs absolutely, Mota. Um, these guys, these guys are tripping, bro. Like, um, it just ain't gonna go down. It's just not gonna go down like that, man. It's just not. What's going on, man? Shit, I'm doing I'm doing good. Uh I'm doing real good, bro. Uh what's up, into? I'm doing real good, into. Um hyper hyper uh A1M. We are working on a tracking website. You get a dub, you get it, you get an L, you get it, no bias and no pardons. All leagues tracked. Shit, I'm with you. I'm with you, hyper A1M. I'm with you, homie. Run it. The game, um, yeah, he's giving Wayne the business right now, man. Says the game is the game. If you don't have the mechanics, don't have a league. Taking a loss away completely changes the dynamic of ranks. Yes, it does. You're absolutely right. Um, so that's all I'm saying, bro. Is you can't be you can't be scrubbing win losses. Um. Uh, one thing that yo, what in the world, yo? Appreciate that. Oh my goodness, man! You came through with the the huge bitty count, bro. Can I count that? I don't know if I could count that high. Uh, one, two, three, four, fourteen hundred biddies on the support. 
Oh my goodness, and, it, and it's also right up there on the top. It counted it for me, so luckily I can count, and uh, my count came up to what the computer counted. 1,400 biddies, yo. Thank you for the support, Hyper A1M. If you need anything from me personally, BZR, if you need anything personally from me or from M MBK, just let me know. I'll talk to you one-on-one -on -one in the Discord. I'll talk to you uh, offline. Uh, you know, whatever you need, bro. If you want to pick my brain. Uh... <laughs> Yo, the Glock. Glock say he not on top now. Oh, man. Glock getting angry. Super Saiyan. Uh, if if you need anything from me, bro, uh, you just let me know, man. And, and we and we can have a one-on-one a, a -on -one chat over the phone i'll give you my phone number i ain't scared i'll give you my phone number it could be discord it could be uh it it could be on stream it could be anywhere bro um they <laughs> say you're banned glock you better not put a ban on that dude bro quit playing um <laughs> you're good you're you so goofy glock <laughs> He's so goofy with with that. What's that character's name for SpongeBob? Uh, Patrick with that Patrick looking all evil and shit. That's hilarious, bro. Um. Uh, yeah, man. I, a L is a L. A win is a win. And if you don't know how to defend yourself inside the ring, it's a problem. You know something else that I think that if um, you know, the the league is watching these matches. These are league sponsored matches if the league believes that they want to do something about body spam uh especially and this is this is hard to regulate but if the uh if the fight is like going to the car like you know what i don't even want to go down that road just yet i don't want to go down that road until you know i really lay out like um i think the league really needs to have a firm understanding on fight mechanics before you can start regulating uh passing out uh you know uh, dubs or l's or scrubbing them or trying to uh pass out you know bands or, or 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 sending warnings to players and things like that i think they have to have a very very firm understanding about what's going on in the fight before you pass out a warning to players on how to fight It's all good, Wayne. It's all good, Wayne. I seen you in there trying to do your thing, bro. Don't worry about it, man. That's why we in the fight camp. We're going to practice, bro. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to get you in a spar with me personally, Wayne. And we're going to get you up. We're going to get you up, Wayne. Uh, uh, yeah, man. That's why I'm really not like listening to him right now or nothing like that. But, you know, we're going to let we're gonna let him do his thing. Uh, we're gonna let Cody Dang do his thing. At least he's here, uh, providing he's providing a platform for fighters to fight on, and uh, I'm not gonna judge his uh, you know, out his uh, he's he's definitely yeah, I can agree with you on that, bro. It's definitely unprofessional, but whatever he wants to do in his personal time and all that, that's you know, that's him, you know. Some people might not like the way that I talk on stream. And when I get really crunk and I get to shouting and screaming and yelling how passionate I am about boxing, they might think that I'm unprofessional. Um, you know, it is what it is. I think I think it's pretty... I, I think where, where the unprofessional comes in is that he's actually running the league. You know what I'm saying? Like, he's like the face of his own league. That's a problem. Um, I'm just a fighter. I'm not representing the DGL. I'm only representing myself. So when you represent a brand, you know, uh, you need to be following some brand rules. Um, if I was representing a brand, say if I was W, if I was W E C B, there's no way I would, um, I would do some of the things that I do and say, um, on my stream when I'm fighting and things like that because I'm representing a brand, you know what I'm saying? Like I'm 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 a grown man. I'm old enough to know, you know, um, if you have a sponsorship or you're representing a brand or certain things that you, uh, certain ways to conduct yourself, what you should and should not be doing. But at the moment, 
I'm only representing myself and MBK. And as far as I know, MBK is okay with the with the way that I handle myself. If MBK says that I need to tone it down a notch, I will definitely tone it down a notch uh, because I'm representing a brand that is called MBK. Yeah, and that, and that's what I'm saying. Like, if if that's the way, that's his brand. Cody Dank is Cody Dank. So, I mean, technically, you know, he's representing a brand, but it's his own brand. So you can't tell a man like what's a, what's not. He owns it. Like if if somebody if he co-owned it with another person, and the other person said that, hey man, this is fifty percent my money. If it was fifty percent somebody else's money, then he would have to listen to the other person. But. It's not a, uh, yo, Joe from the John about to go up. Joe from the John versus uh, Nova. So, yeah, so Cody's doing his own thing. So, I'm you know, it is what it is with Cody. So, yo, I, I really want to, Joe from the John has been telling me that, you know, he going to fight differently and stuff. I've sparred with Joe from the John. Uh, I've been trying to get Joe ready and things like that on just some, uh, you know, mental warf uh, warfare stuff and everything. So for this fight, I'm going to be locked in. You're going to hear some commentary on this fight because this is a fight that I actually care about. Uh, I care about Joe from the John and I care about this fight. This is going to be a lightweight woman's fight. Uh, Joe from the John is not new to lightweight women's. Uh, I think his first competition fight was in lightweight women's i believe i could be wrong but i believe his first competition was a lightweight woman's and he did really good i believe he won that fight okay it's not going to be a light not like it's not a lightweight woman's we got a we got a lightweight men we got a lightweight men and anybody is available so joe got the first pick and he's got george linares and uh george linares versus uh uh, he picked Taylor, but Cody Dank says Taylor is banned. So he's going to pick a different fighter. Um, so here we go, man. Uh, he's going to pick a different fighter, I guess. Uh, I can tell you right now, Joe from the John has a huge advantage uh, by using George Linares, whether Taylor is banned or not, it don't matter who he picks. George Linares has a huge advantage. Uh, Mr. Lightning Hands. Yeah, he cares a lot about DGL. Yeah, man, anybody that's, you know, putting a lot, all this time into communicating with fighters and getting them to show up and, and doing their ranking list and all that stuff, they care. Um, you know, what what he what he does on on his own personal time or whatever you know that like i said that's you know that's him you know i'm not here to judge him i'm not here to judge him he can do whatever he wants to do he can play whatever type of music he wants to play he is a made man he is an entrepreneur he runs his own league he's running it his own way and he sees things his own way and i respect anybody that that um runs their own business i i really really truly respect that because bzr 1986 right here i'm running my own business i'm in the business of serving up l's and sending motherfuckers to hook city that's what i'm in the business of doing sending people to hook city on a daily so here goes the fight He's got Gotti. It's Gotti versus George Linares. And I'm here to tell you, oh my goodness, if 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 Joe from the John just listens to me, if he's ever listened to me in his life, bro, he could whoop Otero Gotti uh by by the end of the second round. All all uh all uh Joe from the John really needs to do is give him a few combinations. Uh, work work the body of a Gotti because he has the lowest defense in the game. The Mexican zombie, <laughs> Goose was there. The Mexican zombie, uh, if he uh, goes to the body of Gotti, this fight is over with. 
immediately, immediately this fight is over with. But uh, my man Joe from the John is, is just as hard-headed as I am, so you might not see that. Uh, but there you go. You've seen a strike to the body, a really fast lightning hand uh, body hook, uh, lead body uppercut. Let's see what these guys are doing. Um, they're really sizing each other up. They're doing the footsies. They're trying to get range. They're going jab for jab. Uh, George Linares goes in with the lead body uppercut and then back up to the top with the left hook. Both men are in the weave. Gotti, Gotti throwing the uh, left hook to the body, not landing. They're still sizing each other up. Um, Joe from the John trying to stay light on his feet, trying to work some angles. He's wiggling back to the body and then to the head. And uh, that's the end of round one. Uh, I don't know what uh, Gotti's uh, health stamina situation is, but George Lanier is sitting at 99%. And I think it said like uh, nine, 95 or something on the health. So he's in very, very good shape. Uh, and lightning hands will keep you in the fight uh, all the way to the end. So we really don't have to worry about that. He is he is going to work on Gotti. He pieced him up, head, body, body, head, body, body. Like, oh my goodness, he didn't even return fire. Um, Gotti's standing there a little clueless. His hands are too slow. He can't throw a punch at all. George Linares is just tagging him up. Um, uh, head to body, head to body. Uh, God, he's having a hard time getting a punch out. Uh, he went with a left hook, some jabs, some left hooks. He's getting tagged all upside the head. George Linares is just, he's just eating him up. And George Linares is rocked to the dome. He's tucking the elbows, trying to stay alive. And those lightning hands are going to work. Uh, and back to the head again. Um, whew. Man, Gotti is in a bad situation. He is in a bad situation. His hands are too slow. At this moment, George Lanera, I mean, Gotti needs to become the counter puncher. And he, he's just not getting it through his thick skull. He's trying to beat George Lanera to the punch. And uh, he can't. The man literally has lightning hands. And there you go again. Gotti rocked because he is not becoming the counter puncher. He is being offensive, and it's not going to work. George Linares is tearing him apart. Woo! This is going to be a short story, folks. A uppercut to the chin. He's throwing every punch in the book. Jabs, lead bodies, uppercuts to the chin, hooks, and Gotti is eating them all. No defense by Gotti, literally, literally or figuratively, he has no defense. George Linares dialing up the power straight, but he whiffs. Um, Gotti whiffing a bunch of punches. They're in the pocket. Gotti uh, still trying to stay offensive, which I, I told you uh, guys that's a bad idea. He's leading with jabs and straights. And uh, the same old story. George Linares is, is picking his pocket. Actually, George is hurt right now, uh, head on red. Um, but obviously, Gotti cannot see that he's hurt George Linares. And uh, he let him get a breather. That man uh, had, a, had a water bottle over there. He sipped it just as fast as he throws punches. And he's back in the fight. He's in the weave. Gotti is still being offensive and he's still getting his pocket picked. George Lanier is with the with the lean back, with the lean back and came back to some multiple jabs. He's going top to bottom over and over and over, top to bottom. He's hitting them everywhere. Uh Gotti doesn't even know that he's in this fight. Um <laughs> That's how he, he doesn't realize that he's in this fight, but Gotti's still in the fight. Um, if George Linares continues to go to the body, he will be out of the fight faster than he uh, got, than he got in it. That's for sure. Uh, we got 25 seconds left in the round. Um, 
man, George Linares is really working the weave. He's styling and profiling on Aturo Gotti, ducking, bobbing, weaving, leaning back, tagging him up, and uh, Gotti is in a bad place, and he has no idea. Gotti has no idea what he's doing, where he's at. He doesn't know what time it is. He doesn't know what street he, he doesn't even know he's in the boxing ring. This man is mashing buttons. Uh, trust me, I know when a fighter is coherent, and right now, Gotti is not coherent. Um, so we start off round four. Gotti's still pressing, and this is just a bad strategy. Um, Unless his strategy is to eat up George Linares' block and just power through his block. If that was his strategy, maybe it might work. But I'm pretty sure that's not his strategy. And George Linares is just is just waiting for Gotti to step up. And he's, um, he's just returning fire. Uh, every punch he throws... He's uh he's making Gotti you know just eat it. I mean look at the beautiful weave George L George Linares just pulled off. He's weaving, Gotti's whiffing punches left and right. He's beating him to the punch. Nice lead body uppercut. George Linares is weaving his ass off. Talk about somebody that's been in the gym. This man is light on the L two baby. He is light on the L two. He's moving his feet. When he gets in the pocket, he hits a beautiful weave, and Gotti is looking foolish. Um, I believe those were some uh, some on the hill hooks. Uh, he was on the back foot hooks. He landed a couple of those from uh, George Linares. Um, Gotti's still pressing with the same thing from round one, walking in with with a jab and a straight and George Linares is just making them pay every single time. There's a nice uppercut from George Linares right to the chin. Gotti just takes it. He's looking like Rock'em Sock'em. Jesus, man. Jesus. He is taking a beating. A beating. If I was his daddy, I would stop the fight. Somebody get the towel for Gotti. Get the towel. Here he comes with the same old, same old. He's a uh, God. He's running in and he's trying to to jab straight to set the tone. And this is a bad strategy. George Linares could end this fight at any moment. I think. I think Joe from the John is enjoying himself in this fight. I think he's having a good time. He's a. Uh, He's putting all his skills on display, and he is showing up, Gotti. Showing him up. Um, he's making a fool of him. Um, Dad. Uh, hold on, baby. Hold on, baby. Not right now. All right. Yes, I honey. get my, my yeah, hair combed. Yeah, you, all right. Get your hug. I get my hair combed tomorrow. I still am getting off of work. All because right. Because my hair, like, not in... And it's been a bun all day. And it's about to be a school night. Okay. So, so she's going to wash my hair. All stuff. right. All right. I'm doing a commentary right bye -bye. now. Love you. Bye-bye. <laughs> okay. So uh, it's the same old. You didn't miss too much. Can you um, get my gummy brush tomorrow? We'll talk about it. Hold on. So, so, hey, oh. I'm busy. Okay. So Gotti um, hurt George Linares again, but this guy does not. Um, he doesn't know what he's doing. He does not smell blood. His uh, fighter instincts are uh, low. He's low on intangibles. Um, and that's uh, severely hurting him. Gotti could win this fight if he just stayed in the gym a little bit longer. Um, and uh, I can tell you, Joe from the John is very aware of... Uh, of Gotti's um, inability to to read danger, Joe is very aware that this Gotti um, does not have the killer inside of him. As you see, Gotti whiffing hooks, he is very very low. 
Yeah, he's just coming forward and taking those punches. Absolutely right. Gotti, Gotti is very, very low on intangibles and uh, fight knowledge and undisputed. It, it, it is showing. Um, and Joe from the John, George Linares is just... He is just taking them apart right now. He he's literally uh, fight fans. He's literally got the game genie in the Super Nintendo, and he's got Super Mario stuck on top of it. And he's just putting in the cheat code. He is just whooping Gotti, um, and 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 I don't I don't know uh, exactly what what uh. I mean, George, Gotti just put George Linares on the mat. And I really don't know what Joe from the John was thinking right there. He got in the phone booth with him and ate a bunch of punches, which Gotti has a lot of power. And as I stated before, Gotti is in this fight, but he's missing certain killer instincts. He does, I can tell he does not have a bead on... The amount of damage he's doing to George Linares. Uh, and George Linares, um, why he stood in that pocket and, and took that punishment and got put on the mat, I'm not really sure. I think uh, I think he was enjoying himself a little too much. And uh, and he got caught slipping. <laughs> that's, that's literally what it looks like happened. He got caught slipping. Uh, Gotti, Gotti put it on him like he was supposed to do. Here we are in the seventh round. Uh, Joe from the John is leading by one point, fifty-seven to fifty-six. Gotti did record a knockdown. Will Joe from the John learn from his mistakes? Will he go ahead and put the fight away? Um, this is not a game, folks. This is not a game. Um, Joe, if you want to record dubs next to your name, you got to put them down. Uh, Gotti is in there working hard. Um, Joe is not really using the fight strategy that he should use to uh, put Gotti away. So he has allowed Gotti to go into the into the seventh round full of power, full of stamina, and uh, is contesting Joe from the John. So it looks like Joe from the John got real serious. He uh, rocked Gotti and then put him on the mat with the power straight. And Gotti is looking at the stars. Obviously, Gotti's going to get back up because he has a very good trait, uh, the warrior. I think it's something called the warrior, something like that. So it's easily easy for him to get back up multiple times. Gotti is still rocked. Uh, luckily, he survived that. Um, I don't know if uh, Joe from the John is very aware that Gotti also has another trait that he is extremely powerful after getting rocked for the next um, 30 seconds after Arturo Gotti hits the ground when he gets up. Um, he has a lot of power in his gloves directly after getting rocked. And uh, he hurt George Linares uh, right there. Head on red. Um This Gotti has not given up yet, as he should not. Yes, that's right, Kush. 30 seconds. Uh, he is the Mexican zombie for 30 seconds. So uh, for all you fight fans that don't know about Arturo Gotti's perk, when he gets knocked down, he gets up, and he is a powerhouse for 30 seconds. Um, so we're right back to the same old thing. Oh, Gotti dials up a power left hook, and it looked like it landed on uh, George Linares. Um, I seen the sweat come from his face, but we this game does have a little desync, and um, it does have some animation problems. But it looked like it landed. Um, they are uh, exchanging power straights. Um, Gotti is still pressing the same way he came out pressing from round one, uh, going in with the jab straight over and over again. Um, Joe from the John just seems to be, uh, I'm just in my guesstimation, he seems to be taking it easy on this Gotti. 
Or like I said, maybe he's just enjoying himself in the ring, but uh, he better not get too comfortable because he already kissed the canvas once. And if he does it again, uh, before the 10th round, we could have a fight on our hands. Um, at this point, Joe from the John definitely has it won. Oh, he comes with some lightning fast uh, left and right hook. The paparazzi are in the building. Oh, no. He got in the pocket with Gotti again. Gotti hits him with a tremendous left. Instantly rocks uh, George Linares. Instantly. He's on the mat. He's getting up on a eight count. Joe from the John is in absolute trouble. He is in absolute trouble. That's right. Move your head. Move your head. You better stick and move. You better stick and move, George Linares. You better win this thing on the scorecard because Gotti is here to kill you. He is bringing the power and do to the inability of Joe from the John uh, to go to the body early in the fight. Um, Gotti is, is feeling himself right now. And it is over. He brings the power. Get up, Craig. Get up, Craig. Get up, Craig. You better grab a brick. And Joe from the John is up on a nine count. Young man, you better get on your bike. You get, you better get on a bicycle and run. Joe from the John is in trouble. It is round nine of ten. Gotti is feeling himself right now. I have no idea why Joe from the John is doing what he's doing. He is in the phone booth with the absolute powerhouse. As you can see, he is on loose foot, meaning he will receive more damage if hit by Gotti. Head on red, baby. Head on red. I believe this Gotti smells blood. George Linares is about one punch from tasting the canvas and this fight being over with. You better stick and move, young man. You better stick and move. Oh my goodness, this is like a coming of age fight. When you as a young man think you want to challenge your father and he's got that old man strength and you think you're lightning fast, oh my goodness, you better duck, young man. Move your head. Move your head. Gotti is up on the cards by one point. 83 to 84. I mean, talk about deep water. George Linares. I mean, he is he. Is, what are those things caught uh, called out there uh, in the ocean where they got the little corks bobbing? George Linares is past the corks. He is past the safety net, and Gotti has taken him there. Gotti has to do nothing to win this fight. Other than uh, just win the points. Obviously, he needs to win the, the points of this round to uh, to win by the cards. If if this round, uh, if uh, George Linares wins this round, then I'm pretty sure the fight will be declared a draw. Um, George Linares needs a KO, and Gotti just needs points. Uh, Joe from the John is in the absolute worst place he could be because I believe he just was not taking this fight as serious as he needed to early on. He did not punish Gotti when he had the chance. Gotti is full of steam, full of smoke. Uh, clearly, George Linares has hurt Gotti. Gotti's head is on red. I can't see it, but I know it. I see it. I smell blood. Um, George Linares is also hurt right now. I see the paparazzi is in the cloud is in the crowd. Somebody is gonna be on a poster, folks. Somebody is gonna be on a poster. Gotti, stand back. You don't have to fight. You will win this. 
George Linares go for the knockout. And he put him on a poster, folks. Gotti just dunked on George Linares' head. Oh my goodness, he is down. There's no there's no reason to even there's no reason to even try to get up. It is over. Gotti brought that old man, old man strength. He held it. He held it to the end. He held enough power in his gloves. And he lit up. The lightning hands. He set them on fire. Yo, ladies and gentlemen, you have to have a game plan and a strategy going into the fight. And you must execute or things like this will happen. Gotti comes with the upset. The absolute upset. Destroys Joe from the, Joe from the John dominates him from the 8th round to the 10th round completely electrifying completely electrifying oh my goodness oh my goodness as you see right here Joe from the John says that uh, he got too greedy like I said I suspect that he was having a lot of fun in the ring, uh, he was off to an early, uh, early lead and dominating a Turo Gotti. And uh, he got to playing around. He got to uh, getting in the pocket, in the phone booth, in the trench with with his daddy Gotti. And uh, and uh, man, like I say, uh, you either got no pause or no draws. And Gotti put a spanking. On George Linares, a absolute spanking. Joe from the John, come on, man, come on. Joe from the John is here in the chat. Come on, Joe. You got to go back and listen to the commentary, Joe. You got to go back and listen to the commentary, Joe. I love you. You got it. After I end this stream, you got to listen to what I to what I say to what I said. You absolutely could have KO'd him, Joe. You had him. You had him, you had him, you had him, and then you let him go. You let a big fish off the hook. I was very, very surprised. I was very, very surprised. Um. <laughs> he said, play as fuck up. <laughs> I love that. I love that. I love the optimism. He's still in good spirits. I, I absolutely love that. Yes, players do fuck up, man. Sometimes you get out there in them streets. You get to messing with one too many girls. You got one too many phone calls. And like I always like to say, the same girl that called you called me. She for the streets. And uh, <laughs> and uh, Joe Joe from the John might have found out that girl it was was uh, absolutely for the streets. He got his heart broke. Uh, he got his heart heart broke. Uh, banging with a girl from the streets. Uh, <laughs> We are on to the next match. We are on to the next match. We got the Silent Viking versus Elkin Mura. And I believe El Elkin Mura is... I think he's like the... Uh, the number two ranked fighter. I believe Mura is the number two ranked fighter in the DGL. Let me, uh, let me double check that. Um, we'll check the DGL and we'll look at um, results maybe no we'll look at uh, I'm in the wrong spot um, DGL undisputed signups rankings Yes, uh, Elkin Mur, uh, Muir, I don't know how to say his name, we'll just call him Elkin. He is uh, ranked number two above yours truly, BZR. He is ranked number two um, in the DGL. He has three wins, one loss, three KOs. So um, I'm hoping we see a KO here, people. Um, 
Elkin uh, looks like he uh, he likes he likes to uh, rock him, sock him. So um, I don't know. Let me see if I can find the Silent Viking on here. Um, he is definitely not in the top ten. Um, this might be a debut, and this actually looks like this is a debut fight. Um, for the Silent Viking, this is his debut. And I, I don't know why he's debuting against the number two fighter, but, you know, uh, hey, man, sometimes things don't go your way and you you get set up David versus Goliath. Oh, it says he's number 14. Um, oh, okay, his name is just Viking. It is not his debut. Uh, Viking has one win. I was looking for the silent Viking. So uh, thank you, uh, uh, Mandu. Thank you, Mandu. Okay, this is a heavyweight fight. Uh, roll your eyes. I'm not usually interested in heavyweight fights. Uh, but here we go. Who is this? Joe Lewis versus Deontay Wilder. It's pretty much the same old stuff. Um, Joe Lewis to the body and then back to the head. Deontay Wilder. Um, looks like he's throwing left hooks. I really don't know the animations of the uh, heavyweight fighters because I don't usually play in this uh, league. In the, I mean, in this, I don't usually play in a. Oh, I don't usually. Excuse me, people. I don't usually fight as a heavyweight, so I don't really know all their animations. But it looks like he's throw. Uh, Wilder is throwing hooks. That's what it looks like. He's throwing a couple of hooks and he's missing. Um, he landed with his right. Um, Deontay Wilder uh, is using the Philly shell which leaves the left side of his head exposed. And I believe Joe Lewis has a trait that uh, gives him the ability to uh, have really good right hooks. So if I were Joe Lewis, I would expect that that would be his bread and butter in this fight, that he would go to the head of Deontay Wilder and completely... Uh, dismantle uh, Deontay Wilder with that right hook and KO him um, but the silent Viking is only 1-0 in, in the DGL and we are talking about Elkin Elkin is the number 2 which is 3-1 uh, uh, and one with 3 KOs so this this fight may just simply come down to fighter experience. Both men run to the middle of the ring and collide uh, with their guard up. And Wilder is searching for an opening while Joe Lewis is holding his guard up and bobbing and weaving uh, as Wilder is missing. Um, Wilder comes in with some uh, left hooks. He lands a few. He misses a few. Um, Ooh, that was a, a tremendous uh, power left hook. He misses. He lands uh, a right. Uh, Joe Lewis is ducking, ducking a lot of punches. Um, again, a good strategy here would be to go to the body. It's really hard for me to commentate without just giving up the sauce, guys. Like I, I see so much stuff, and I just want to say exactly what a fighter should do to win. And uh, and I and I can't do that up here. I can't I can't do that. Uh, I'm 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 not I'm not really sure why they're fighting the way they're fighting. Um, I don't know if this is a skill level thing. I've never seen either either one of these guys fight. I would expect Elkin to have a. Uh, some high level striking seeing as he's won uh seeing as he's the number two fighter and he is three and one in the dgl i would expect that uh his skill is up there but um i'm not seeing too much right now it looks like they're just sizing each other up in round two and one and they're and they're taking it very very uh lightly 
are taking it very, very lightly right now. Um, obviously, the uh, strategy versus power is to go to the body. Anytime you're fighting power, the way to kill power is to kill the body. That's the way to kill. That's the way to kill power. That's the strategy. And what I see right now is I see n neither fighter going to the body. So what will what will happen here is we're basically a uh, watching a sniper fight. What's going to happen here uh, when neither fighter goes to the body? It's the fight is basically going to be uh, based off a of head health and overall health uh, when they go to the corner. So this is a sniper fight, and uh, we're just gonna see who has the uh, who hits their shots and who has the overall better head health and uh, health recovery because um, neither one of these fighters are uh, body fighters. So uh, we'll actually take a little bit of a break on, on this fight as it's um, it's a sniper fight, and there's uh, not too much to be said. Uh, these guys are gonna uh, play rock 'em sock 'em until one of their heads pop off. So uh, sit back and watch, guys. Sit back and watch. <laughs> Anybody in the chat? Uh, we got any votes on on uh, whose head spring is gonna pop up first? <laughs> Somebody's spring is gonna pop out their neck in this fight. They are head sniping, head hunting, and somebody is going to lose their head. I'll actually go back to the uh, MB, the MBK chat on this one. Actually, uh, no, I won't. Look, uh, somebody got rocked already. I warned you, it was a sniper fight, and uh, shots fired, shots fired. He, he is... He's gotten sniped already. Um. <laughs> Joe from the John says he sold like a car salesman. Uh, so this fight is, you know, real lightweight, lightweight, light work. Um, it is terribly cold in my house for some reason it's been cold all day all night and again it is free it is so cold that i i just picked this coke up off the floor here it wasn't even in the refrigerator and this thing feels like it is ice cold and it is it is so delicious anytime you feel like giving me a sponsorship coke I would really appreciate it, Coca-Cola, man. I would take $1. I would take $0.10. Cents. If you pay me by the Coke that I drink, in fact, don't even do that. Just just send me Cokes. Just let me drink Cokes for free, and I promise you it'll be a commercial on this thing. Coca-Cola, that's a good deal. Give me free Cokes, and I'll just that'll be, that'll be the only product of the channel. Coke, that's it. You got the whole, the whole consumable, the whole consumables in the channel. I won't even eat. I'll eat Cokes. <laughs> Holla at me, Coca-Cola. Holla at your boy. I've been a supporter all my life. Dare I say it, Coke over Pepsi. Dare I say it. I even enjoy me a cream soda every now and then, but you will not see a cream soda on this channel. Uh, what's uh Kush have to say here? I feel like Ken could fight, could fight in the outside more instead of on the inside so much. He's making the fight more tougher than it needs to be by staying on the inside. Do the Coke challenge with, do the Coke challenge with Pepsi. I don't know what the Coke challenge with Pepsi is. Uh, I'm not really hip to social media. I know that's a social media thing, uh, the challenges and stuff, but I don't, I don't know what that is. Uh, 
be blindfolded and take a drink of each. Oh, that's easy. Oh, that's easy. I'll bring I'll bring the I'll bring the whole line of drinks out of here. The soda challenge. And uh and I'll and I'll try to tell you exactly um which which drink is which. By the way, shout out to uh high uh hyper a1m that cheered me 1500 bits today again shout out to hyper let me go ahead and uh i think i got my um command going here shout out hyper one am give them a give them a check give them a watch um they are working on some uh, league play and league ranking stuff <clears throat> to try to make this the situation fair for everybody. Shout out to uh, Hyper A One M. Also, after I do this fight, I think it'll be the last uh, when I do this main event fight. I think it'll be the last fight that I do tonight. Got to spend some time with my wife. I will be uh, raiding somebody. I will take um, raid at the end of the not right now, but at the end of the fight. If uh, I will take raid, um, what do you want to call it? Saying the right way, oh, raid options. If somebody wants me to raid somebody, they can, uh, they can give me their their opinion on who I should raid, and uh, I'll try to pick the best candidate after the fight. Um, I don't seem to have very many people on my friends list actually uh, on my you know follow list that I watch on Twitch TV don't have very many friends that are <laughs> streaming at the moment but uh, I can already tell off the bat one of my top candidates is uh, uh, a close friend and uh, uh, that I talk to every day and have a good time with E-Man E-Man the Duke he's a top candidate for uh, the raid um, I like chilling with E-Man the Duke great guy great uh, great personality um, he looks like he is my top candidate outside of uh, Joe from the John. I don't know if he'd still be on either, but uh, I'll probably be. I haven't. I don't think I've rated E Man yet. I've rated Joe. I've rated Joe from the John a few times. I haven't rated E Man, so he is a top candidate for the raid. Uh, does anyone know Fight Night's finest? I shouldn't. I don't know him. I've only watched his streams a couple of times in some matches in DGL. Okay, uh, Kush, do you have any analysis of Fight Night's finest? Do you believe that he is a good fighter? Do you believe that he has a chance against Hook City? Do you uh, do you have any uh, any opinions on how the fight may go? He was a good Fight Night Champions YouTuber back in the day. He's a lot like you, to be honest. With the confidence. Ooh. Oh. Uh, and he's going to be an IQ match. Uh-oh. We got a real mirror match. And I'm not talking about inside the ring. I'm not talking about fighters in the game. We got a personality mirror match coming up. An IQ fighter. I would like to see this. I would like to see this. I have never played Fight Night Champions. Uh, so I do not know what 
what crosses over from that game. Oh, I got my wife calling me. Give me a second. Hello, baby.
Yo, look at this fight card, guys. I got we got slip uh switch flip versus Kraken. I got Kraken. I think Kraken will take out uh switch flip. All right, baby. I got switch flip versus Kraken. They got Cody versus Master Fate. Uh, Ken Mura versus Viking. So we got. So we just saw that fight, right? We just saw Ken Mura versus Viking. So now we got Cody Dink versus the the Beta. Yo, reply to him in chat. Of course, I got it. Uh, reply to the chat. What? Who's he said something to me in chat? Who said some? Did he say something? They looking for me? Says, come, he said, come through, uh, BZR, come through, switch flip, cracking BZR, come through. Um, so let me get back to the stream, uh, in the Discord community chat. Yeah, I seen it. Yeah, I, I seen it cracking. Yeah, Discord community chat. I, I looked at that too. I seen them. Uh, yeah, I got I got cracking, bro. I got cracking over a uh, switch flip all day, baby, all day cracking. Um, uh, I don't know that guy. <laughs> I don't know him. I know you. I don't know that guy. I'm picking the dude I know. Shit, take I'll take cracking. I don't know that man. You watching you? It's gonna be a good car. All right, all right. You gonna be you gonna be uh, watching it on uh on the you know on the thing it says erratic say i got this <laughs> take the perm off his head who that who lobbying up bzr time to the throne fight nice finest yeah give me that crown baby give me the crown Yeah, you're the main. Yeah, I'm the I'm the main event. Yeah. Ah, uh, bro, I'm 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 rank. I'm rank number three. So, uh, hopefully with this win, I'll be rank number one. I'll be I'll be I'll be, I'll be ranked top dog. Ready for the cold, baby. <clears throat> Y'all ready? Y'all ready, man? I'm going to try to show out. I'm going to show out, y'all. This time y'all get to see me. Y'all get to see me and hear me. Um, you'll get to y'all get to see me right here on the stream and hear me. I don't have to turn my stream off, turn my face off or anything like that because um, I don't have to. Uh, I don't have to turn anything off of my uh, my stream because. That guy uh, is gonna be hosting it. 
uh, hosting the stream. So, uh, so y'all get to kick it here with me and see me while I'm while I'm doing my thing, man. Man, I really need like some some freaking chapstick or something like that. I got the I got the white ashy Dave Chappelle lips. No. <laughs> We got the BZ logos. I like that, bro. I like to see the BZ logo in that thing. I like that one. Make me feel special. I like the green and red BZ logo. All right. Uh, <laughs> the cracky <crackhead> lips. <laughs> yeah, it, at least it looks like my lips are all white on the screen. I don't know. Uh, but regardless, uh, yeah, yeah. I like to see the logo, man. I like to see the green and red. Made made uh from my daughter, that's the that's the the OG Battle Zaddy logo. Real name Cedric. BZR stands for Bazaar, but the BZ logo stands for a Battle Zaddy. So watch out, it's the Battle Zaddy up in here. <laughs> been lagging, been lagging with the Law and Order. Um, let me see if this guy has messaged me. If I got a message from anybody yet, I have not got no messages. I don't know why we sitting here. I'm waiting on the code. Oh, let me go ahead and start my game up. I don't even have my game started. Get my game started here in the foreground, background, whatever you want to call it. So I'm waiting, waiting on my code. Oh, there's a code right there. Yo, get ready, y'all, get ready. BZ's coming. BZ's coming, y'all. Get ready. Here we go, guys. Fight of the night. Fight of the night, y'all. Um, all right. Uh, let me go ahead and mute. Mute Cody Dank. Let's get it done, guys. Let's get it done. Let's see if BZ can get it done. Well, actually, I can't. I shouldn't mute Cody Dang just yet. I got to find out, you know, listen to the weight classes and all that stuff, what it's going to be. Let's hear. Let's hear what it's going to be. Beat him down. Beat him to the ground. Tombstone his ass. Yeah. All of that. Let's see what Cody's gonna say. Easy money. Easy. Let me see what I could do. Let me see what I could do. Um, okay, so he wants me to stream it. So I guess I gotta turn I gotta turn my cam off. Alright, so we'll turn the cam off. All right, let me turn it off.
this lightweight, I mean, fight night picking first, I believe. Okay, champ picks the weight class. All right, so. Did y'all make the ground meat? Yeah, we make the ground beef. We, we have to make it tomorrow. All right. Y'all gonna eat it tomorrow? Huh? Y'all gonna eat it today? Tomorrow? Um, you can do it tomorrow. You can do it today? Um, I don't know. Maybe you can eat it tomorrow. When do it be? Because I'm gonna be with the mic. All right, so I'll, uh, I'm gonna hit the mic. Sorry, stream. Gotta meet the mic because I'm the one that's, uh, uh, Displaying it, so here we go. All right, it'll be on my stream then, or it'll be on his stream then, so here we go. So y'all get to hear from me? I guess so, y'all get to hear from me. So here we go, guys. <clears throat> A little bit nervous as usual. You know how I am, a little nervous. Let's uh let's ease into the fight. I'm not too terribly scared of a Bud Crawford. I think I have the strongest Bud Crawford in my camp. So I don't think Fight Night will be the strongest Bud Crawford I ever ran against. I believe that I have the strongest Bud Crawford in NBK. So if this guy is stronger than the Bud Crawford in my camp, I would be very, very surprised. Very, very surprised. Yet, I'm still nervous because it's a competition fight. Main event. <laughs> I can't yell and stuff. I got the family home and everything right now, so I can't I can't get all hype like y'all y'all been seeing me get hype lately. <laughs> I guess I'm not the main anymore. I got kicked off the main event. What? Damage is on one? Is it? We gotta restart the fight, huh? Is that what they're saying in the other stream? Did he put the damage on one?
what is what does that mean damage is on one change it i'm not the host he's the host so is this the fight or is there a problem here I'm I'm not the host. Okay, yeah, he's the host. I can't. I'm not restarting it. He's got to restart it. Okay, I'll, I'll restart it. Yeah, regardless, whatever. I'm I'm not the host, like I said. Uh, so I'll just end it like that. Um, let me get let me get the code again. So, so here we are again. Um, he still doesn't have the damage modifier up yet, and we're not in the correct um, we're not in the correct weight class. So we won't ready we won't ready up until we get in the correct weight class. The correct there we go. We got the damage modifier, and we're welterweight. Um, I guess we'll be fighting on one point one point oh stam. Y'all know I love to fight on one point five stam, but that's probably not. Oh, the rules here. It's also supposed to be a 12 round fight, I believe. What's up, sweetheart? Oh, I never brought it over here. I left it over there next to the uh, to the the candle. It, sh it should be right there on the on like maybe behind the the picture or whatever, like right there up front. It's not right there. Okay. Um, so let's see here, just back out, you restart it. So, okay, now he's got a spider and everything I think looks good. I think the nerves died down just a little bit, so that's good for me. 12 rounds, they died down, they kind of started back up as well. So, it's just the thing, man. It's just the thing, you're gonna get nervous anytime you're uh. Anytime you're fighting, you know I don't know if there's any uh, competition fighters out there that don't get nervous before fights, but that ain't me, bro. I get nervous before fights, even when I'm sure I'll, I'm gonna win. I still get nervous. Pretty nice fight so far. Hmm. I 
kind of already know what he's gonna do I pretty much uh he is a fight night guy I fought another fight night guy I guess I think I got the best fight night guy in my camp and I think I know exactly what this guy plans on doing I think I got him figured out already Yeah, I think I got him figured out already. He fights just like the fight night guy from my camp. Shout out to Nate. Shout out to my man, Nate. Exactly. <laughs> he's tricky he's tricky bro he's definitely tricky i like that i like that bro big shout out to nate big shout out to nate from my camp Yo, this definitely, this definitely a champ, like a champion style fight, yo. Definitely some uh, cerebral warfare going on right here. He knows exactly what I know, and I know what he knows. That's who uh, does it better. I don't think he has the tools to take me, guys. You can really see it. You can really see me turning it on right here in round three, turning it on. I don't think he's got it. I think he's all out of tools. He didn't foresee me being able to, uh, to defeat a fight night champ. But I've already seen this. My buddy from uh, my buddy Nate from Fight Night uh, does it better than this guy does it, and I'm uh, I'm taking it from him. I'm taking it from him, bro. He can't take it. He's definitely hurt. He's definitely hurt, and his strategy is in the dumps, bro. His strategy is over with. He's got nothing. He's got nothing, bro. He's got nothing in the tank. So he's really, he's really trying to come up with a new strategy right now. He's trying to come up with a strategy on the fly. And uh, 
I'm pretty sure I know how to I'm pretty sure whatever strategy he comes up with uh, I'll be able to counter it but he did not come into this fight thinking that I knew how to counter his strategy he's already countered he's already countered surprised they uh, didn't give me that round absolutely surprised they just took that round from me And he's done. I shut him down, guys. Shut him down. Don't come to BZ with that foolery, bro. Uh -huh. Hook City, baby. Mm -hmm. Hook City. Stop, stop. Shut him down, y'all. Cerebral Warfare, what? <laughs> Shout out to the boy Nate Dog. NBK Fight Camp, baby. NBK Fight Camp. Spit it up. The same girl that called you, call me. She for the streets. He don't have an answer. He can't answer me. He can't answer me. Tell your girl to pick up the line. Call her. Call her. Call her. What up, Ben Laggy? What's up, Ben Laggy? Call her. <laughs> Just don't get KO. I don't think I. I don't think I take any damage, bro. I don't think I took no damage. KO. He don't got nothing for me. He don't got nothing for me. He got nothing for me. He hurt. He trying to formulate a, st a strategy. Get your corner coach. He's trying to formulate a strategy. He can't go up. He can't go down. He can't go up. He can't go down. He trying to go down on the mat. He can't go up on the mat. He can't go straight up. If he go straight up, I'm a one to him. If you go down on the mat, I'm going to get him. If you go up on the mat, I'm going to get him. He can't go left hand. He can't go right hand. He's in no man land. He's in no man's land. The fight's over with. The fight's over. He might as well just... He might as well just grab a pillow. He might as well just grab a pillow. Well, ooh, look at that. That boy got knees like Megan. Knees like Megan. Go ahead. Twerk a later. Twerk a later. Oh, he rocked me. He rocked me. 
It's time for the twerker later. It's time for the twerker later. He can't take me, bro. Like I said, I already fought a guy. I already, I already fought a guy like this, bro. He can't take me. NBK camp is stronger, bro. NBK camp is strong. We top heavy. We top heavy, bro. Y'all ain't even seen my boy Nate. Y'all ain't seen Nate, Nate fight. I already know what he wants to do. I'm going to tell you what he's trying to do to me. He's trying to beat me with the left hand. He wants to go over the top and throw the left hand. But I'm not going to let him do it. I'm not going to let him do it, bro. That's why you hurt right now because I won't let you do it. You're not going to throw that left hand on me. You won't. You won't throw that left hand. So what else can you do? You ain't got nothing, bro. What else can you do? You got a right hand? Throw that right. Throw that right. He wants to throw the left hand, but I won't allow it. I'm cutting him off. You can't have it. We don't went over this. We don't went over this. You can't do what you want to do. You can't do it. You can't do it. So what you going to do now? What will you do now? What will you do now? You got no more tools in the bag. Your bag is looking kind of light. Bro, I mean, should I just cheese this dude and get him up out of here? Should I just cheese him? Like, why am I still fighting this guy? I'm trying not to cheese him right now. I'm trying to be respectful. But I could just cheese him and get him up out of here. I'm trying to be respectful right now. I'm, I'm really trying to. I'm trying. This is, this, is re, this is a respectful, sanctioned fight. But he can't do he can't do nothing. It's over with. He know it. I know it. You know it. Everybody in the stadium knows it. It's over with. Hold on for dear life. I'm getting them with the one twos. I'm getting them with the one twos. One two threes. He's not. He can't handle me. He can't handle me, y'all. It's over. He don't have nothing. He's got nothing else. He got nothing left in the tank. I'm real out here. I'm real out here, y'all. Hook City is a real place. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. The paparazzi is in the crowd. Did you see that? I almost KO'd that man right there. The paparazzi is in the crowd. He ate, he ate the biggest burger. The biggest burger we serve in Hook City. He just ate that thing. He don't got nothing for me, bro. Did he try to dial up a power on me? Eat that. The same girl that called you called me. He dialed up a power? You can't catch Moby Dick. With a stick. I left his head on red. I want you to sit in that corner and think about it. You in the... What? You in the ring with a polar bear. With red hair. I got him in some real deep water, y'all. Don't Terrence Crawford get tired after the eighth round? I got him in some real deep water, y'all. 
I hope you've been to the YMCA. Get the toe tag. Get the body bag. Somebody call his mama. Call his mama, y'all. It's over with. It's over. He's not ready. He's not ready. He ate another big hook. He ate another big hook. I sent it directly, directly from Hook City. Expedited. He better come with a new plan. He better come with a new plan, y'all. I hope he packed lightly. I hope he got a small box. All you need is some underwear. All you need is some underwear. Uh-oh, he got my head on red. He think he got a strategy for me. He think he picked my pocket. He did not. He did not pick my pocket. What will he do? Ah, uh, he's going back. He's going back. He's going back to round one. I won't let you have it, homie. It's over with. You can't have it. He ate another big shot and another one. You will go to Hook City. He's not ready. He's not ready. <laughs> I'm going to say punch his stomach so hard he's going to have the Hershey squirts. <laughs> oh my goodness. He trying to pick my pocket, y'all. I see him. I see him. He's landing the jab on me. He's landing the jab on me. He's trying to pick my pocket, but it will not work. He's still getting ate up by the same one-two. He does not know how to respond to the one-two. The same one-two. He doesn't know what to do with it. Fight night champion. It's not going to work in here. It's not going to work in here. He ate another big hook. Another. This is my DGL fight. This is it. And I am I am dismantling this man piece by piece. I took off his muffler. I took off the headers. He missing a spark plug. I siphoned the gasoline. I took the hood off the car. I put him on bricks. He on bricks right now. What's he gonna do, y'all? I mean, I'm gonna keep giving him the same damn thing. Oh, he rocks me. He rocks me. Oh, he rocks me. What's gonna happen? Will he take me out, y'all? Does he got enough heart? He don't got enough heart. It didn't work. It didn't work, y'all. He don't got enough heart. He smelled blood, but it won't happen in here. It won't happen in here, y'all. Ooh-wee! Ooh-wee! It's over with, y'all. It's over with. Head on red, y'all. Head on red. Watch out now. Watch out. Head on red. Head on red. All right. I need to go ahead and finish them, y'all. I need to go ahead and finish them. 
He bothering me right now. He's bothering me, guys. I need to go ahead and get him done. I need to get him done. I need to get him in and get him out. There it is, y'all. I told you what I needed to do. I told you what I needed to do. I'm done playing with him, y'all. He put my head on red, and I don't like it. So I put him on the mat. Get him up out of here. Get him up out of here, baby. Get him up out of here. You're out. He can't take it. He can't take it. He can't take it, man. He can't take it. The fight was over with from the second round. I had him, I had him, I had him dialed up in the second round. Shout out to my boy Nate. Shout out to my boy Nate. We do work in the MBK camp. We do work. Pay attention. I'm doing tutorials out here, y'all. I'm doing tutorials. Pay attention. Pay attention. Like, follow, subscribe. If you want to learn how to fight, talk to me. Talk to me. Me be at Hook City Penthouse Suite, baby. Penthouse Suite. Like, follow, and subscribe to Silent Viking. You can spar with me any day, homie. Any day. Holla at me. Holla at me. What's up, Reek? What's up, Most Death? What up, Reek? Anytime, any place. Right now, I can't I can't spar with you right now, homie. You'll have to catch me tomorrow, I think, bro. You have to catch me tomorrow. I can't spar with you right now. My wife home. That's the end. That's the end of the night. I'm done. I got my dub. Yeah, I can't do it right now, Viking. I'm sorry, bro. Yeah, but uh I'll be on tomorrow, bro, and you can get it in with me. But I do I did what I needed to do. So go ahead and take the crown, put it on BZ head. Number one, baby. Number one, baby. Go to the gym. Go to the gym. Bow. Go to the gym, baby. We. What you think I'm in here doing? Twiddling my balls? We fight at the NBK fight camp. GG, y'all, GG. I spammed. I shut him down, bro. Did, was anybody watching the fight? That dude could not operate. He, he came into that fight and said he wanted to throw the left hook. I took the left hook from him. I gave him the right hook. My name is literally Hook City. That's my name. I, 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 I took his hook from him and gave him my hook. And then I beat him up. I took like I was literally playing with him. I was playing with that boy for like five rounds. I was letting him live. I was trying. I was trying to be respectful. I was trying to be respectful. And then I packed him up. Light box, bro. I packed him. You see the box right here? All of your precious valuables need to go in this box and get the fuck on respectfully. I just put you a pair of drawers in here, maybe a, a toothbrush and some toothpaste, and, and uh, I'm gonna ship this shit overnight to Hook City. Yes, sir. That boy can't fight. I shut him down. I shut him down. Yes, sir. I shut him down. That's how Hook City do it. So what we need to do right now? <laughs> yeah <laughs> great win i shut him down easily bro easily easily didn't i tell y'all y'all was watching the fight for the whole time i said i was nervous coming into the fight i was trying to see what he was doing i'm already aware of a bud crawford i have the best bud crawford in my fight camp i was already aware of what crawford does so i peeped him out in the first round immediately i seen him throw the left hook red flag cerebral warfare i seen him throw the left hook i took it away from him 
and he was dead in the water. He didn't know how to fight me. The second round, I took his left hook away from him, and he had no more tools in the bag. He is out of there. Out of there. He's not that guy. He's not that guy. So uh, actually, you know what we're gonna do? We're just gonna. Uh, I'm actually gonna end up watching um, the rest of this uh, Cody Dang thing. Y'all can watch it with me. Y'all can watch the rest of the DGL with me. Uh, and let me turn on Cody Dank and I can see what he's talking about. And then after that, we're gonna raid somebody. He could cry all he want to. He could cry. It's okay. I'll wipe your tears. He saying my right my right hook uppercut spam. Bro, if I right hook uppercut spam, you have to stop me, right? In a fight. If I'm fighting you and you fight me and I throw a right hook, you gotta take away the right hook. If I hit you in the stomach, you gotta take away the lead uppercut. He took nothing from me. I gave him the one-two jab. The jab right, the jab right. I jab straight at him. I hit him in the uppercut. I hit him with the right hook. He took no punches away from me. That boy had no defense. No defense. None. Did that boy have any defense? No defense. Did he take any punches from me? No defense. I shut him down. Shut him down, baby. He came in that fight. He wanted to throw. I mean, let me close that. He wanted to throw the left hook. I sniffed it out in the second round. He wanted to throw the left hook. I sniffed it out in the second round. And the fight was over. Ridiculous. It was over. He couldn't he couldn't stop the right hook. Bring him. Bring the Cody, bring the rematch. We bring the rematch cuz he got That man had no tools in his bag. Light tool bag, light toolbox like this. This is his toolbox. Light toolbox. All right, let me go ahead and raise somebody, y'all. Let me go ahead and raise somebody. Let's see here. We got, um, damn, ain't none of my boys online. I spent some time with my wife. Um, man, the only guy I got on Undisputed right now is J Locks Gaming. So let's go ahead and raid J Locks. This dude is, yeah, if y'all think I'm an entertainer, J-Locks is a pretty good entertainer too, man. So y'all go ahead and uh, fo like, follow, subscribe, support J-Locks. Uh, he, he's entertaining, man. Here come the raid right now. Here go the raid.
right we're gonna go ahead and raid in five four three two one hook city